Welfare check is early this month Looking to chill, interact and have fun Open up my YouTube page And I see your melting face And when I hear you burn I'm the only dent on earth This is so meaningful to me Your hurting back, your greasy hair, your Patrick OT is meaningful to me. Yeah, is meaningful to me. Yeah, yeah. Your shitty playthroughs are all I need. I know you guilty, but you're meaningful to me. Just like my legs Fuck the stupid trolls saying that you beg You're not the same guy you were yesterday Here's 150 for the vest today It's time for a silly bubble blow Or I'm gonna close the tab and go What's your favorite type of food? And can you read my haiku? Yeah, your hurting back, your greasy hair, your patchy goatee is meaningful to me. Yeah, is meaningful to me. Yeah, yeah, your shitty playthroughs are all I need. I know you guilty, but you're meaningful to me. Yeah, you're meaningful to me. Yeah. Your hurting back, your greasy hair, your patchy goatee is meaningful to me. Yeah, it's meaningful to me. Shitty playthroughs are all I need I know you killed guilty But you're meaningful to me Yeah, you're meaningful to me Yeah, you're hurting back Your greasy hair Let me tell you something, brother When I hold a man's penis He's meaningful to me <laughs> All right, let me just get ready. We're gonna start. Uh, by the way, there are a bunch of uh, a bunch of new instrumentals for recent songs on SoundCloud. So check those out. Hey guys, it's Derek here, and I wanted to apologize to Reese Robbins. I'm extremely sorry, and I wanted to I wanted to tell Reese that she will always be one of my favorite point stars to watch. The champ is the champ. Is here. The chap is coming. Let me repeat that again. The chap is here. The chap is coming. And I am looking for things to stop. Coming. Oi, 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 oi. Coming. Hardcore. Coming. And now I'm gonna masturbate. Coming. They fuck me again. Left and right. I'm the fuck out of these guys. Punching the guy's penis. And now you're looking for things to suck. And my ass is so fucking stretched out at this point. Coomin. Never tip it, never drop a gifted sub. Yeah, I'm lurking and I'm jerking. Jerkin'. Yeah, I'm busting nuts. That's chat. It. I've been stroking for so long. Stroking, stroking, stroking. Little Derek starts to hurt. Glad to hear that, Derek. The chat is here. The chap is coming. Let me repeat that again. The chap is here. The chap is coming. And I am looking for things to suck. Coming. Oi, 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 oi. 
Kumin. Hardcore. Kumin. And now I'm gonna masturbate. Kumin. Derek, what's going on? I said I love Kumin. Glad to hear that, Derek. My name's Derek Spike. I'm not here to tell the tell I'm not here to get shout out. It's just me and my gang. AG, Almighty Head Gang. What up? Baller alert. Yeah, I got my kids on me. I ain't trying to tip right now. I ain't trying to tip right now. And if I'm not being me, I got a sock right now. I got a sock right now. I just you know, use these on site. If I turn on the stream right now, on a stream. Me and Head Gang, we both. Y'all free thing right now. Yeah, I got my bits on me. I ain't tryna tip right now. I ain't tryna tip right now. And if I'm out there, me, I got a sign right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the stream, right? introducing the Chocolate Starfish. Mirror Mall. Oh, Mirror Mall. Mirror Mall. Yeah. Mirror Mall. 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 Mirror Thank you for the the 50 bomb. You haven't even started yet. Meerkat. You don't even know Easy. if you're going to like the stream. Maybe it's trash. Who fucking knows. Now I got like extra pressure on me. Uh big ups man. Thanks uh thanks a lot. It time flow. And big ups to Methbear as well. Okay. So, let's try and and get as as many factual style contributions in this stream as possible, right? Uh long story short. Dark got hit by two copy strikes. For the uh, Eminem, My Name Is song that is in this intro. That is sampled from the actual song. Right? Correct. He made an emergency video about it where he was all rattled and, you know, acting like a DSP. It, like, what do you expect? So I'm gonna go through this. We'll try and see what is actually happening. And what are the possible outcomes and what are the possible causes. Right? So that's that's what the stream is gonna be about. Welcome. I'm drinking. And maybe we're gonna be drinking in the process if it gets a little bit too fun. I saw Chill Murray had a lot of fun on his stream. He was drinking. Uh, I saw Ann Lee's stream from earlier. So let's see what's what's up with this. Let's start with um, let's uh, let's start with uh, Twitter. Now uh, before we start, let me tell you what I think about this. I think the strikes are real, uh, as in they happened it's not him lying about stuff oh something i forgot to say he deleted 249 videos from the level one podcast all of this is deleted if you click on it any single one of them you go on pick pick go and you click on it you're gonna see this beautiful message the video has been removed by the uploader 249 this is gonna violate and annihilate him in the algorithm it's absolutely gonna destroy him look at this i'm just i just keep scrolling i just keep scrolling the last one that is available is episode 8 from july 8th and you're gonna see the story behind why he deleted them it was basically a panic move so they don't get struck uh and instead of making them private and being able to get them back later he just deleted them so let's let's get into this right first let's go on twitter Let's run the bot a little bit and see what uh, what he's been talking about. His uh, last message before it all went down was, Good luck finding anything in your feed now, unless they are paying for fake verified status. Hyped for this. Love the content. Hey, big ups, uh, big ups, Steven. Well, let's see what are we going to make from this. Uh, as for tomorrow, I'm not going to watch his uh, pre-stream because my girlfriend's coming back and I'm going to spend time with her. But it's probably going to be a pretty banging pre-stream, seeing how everything is, is lined up. But I'm sure you're going to find plenty of restreamers to go to and check out. Um, I'm sure they're going to get it uh, covered. Anyways, we got a hype tweet. We got another hype tweet. We got another hype tweet. And then we got a disaster tweet. We got a cataclysm tweet. So let's see what this one is about, right? Let's see what, what it, he says here. All, sadly, I have some scary slash awful news for you in regards to DSP gaming. I will be uploading a special video about it in just moments, so be sure to check it out. I will also be linking to it here directly, so stay tuned. Thanks! Alright, th so this happened 10 hours ago. Then we go and have a massive schedule segment. Look at this 
massive schedule post. This is crazy. April schedule for live streaming. Blah, 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 blah. Emergency message. Emergency. DSP Gaming has been hit with multiple false copyright strikes. If the channel gets shut down, follow me on Twitter at they call me DSP for updates on what comes next. Likely, we will do some streams on Twitch. Remember Twitch? This place that sucks and it's a piece of shit business? Remember? Likely we'll do some streams on Twitch and then find a viable alternative to move to while I work to clear up the false strikes on YouTube. Thank you. And then we have the nice like typing cursor. You can see it here after the thank you. This is the last thing he typed out. Anyways, this is his backup plan if his channel goes down. So as it stands now, he can still stream. He can still upload stuff. He's still on YouTube. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, actually, the caption to this tweet is please be sure to watch my emergency video as the schedule I'm posting below may as well not happen. If the worst does, I will post up on Twitter to let everyone know where to find me next. As we'll likely be doing temporary stuff for a bit. Also known as just like Q&A and in disaster streaming. This should be like a new genre of streaming. Just disaster streaming. Anyways. Uh, then we have this one. If YouTube keeps... If YouTube is going to keep granting false copyright strikes in any instance... Parentheses, in my name or against my channels. Now it's a big deal. Notice how now it's a very big deal. People are making strikes in his name. We have to start seriously talking our alternatives. I do not want to leave my home of 15 years, but I'm not sure what else I can really do. We'll talk on Thursday. I'm sure we will. That's going to be a, a juicy one. Then we get a pinned tweet. All here is an emergency video that is extremely important. So please watch it, and thanks for understanding. There we go. So uh, now I want to take a look at that one. Like I said, level 1 podcast, rest in peace, to 250 episodes. The social blade graph for this one is going to be outstanding. It's going to be juicy as hell. going to be beautiful to look at. Uh, then uh, let's go to uh, Mimology 101's channel. So we don't give that, that fucker a single view. Uh... Because that's that's what he's uh, that's what he's hoping on for this video. Oh my god, I want to make a special video. So let's see this one. And uh, right off the bat, we're getting the the weird like theatrical look at the camera. Oh, all right, guys. This is Bruce. Now it's the. Let's go on, everyone. Dark Side still here. Then it's Codename Kids Next Door. <laughs> this is Cartoon Network. Hello, everyone. Phil here, everyone. and this is not a good video. He should start all his videos and all his streams like that. Hey, what's up, you guys? Phil here. This is not a good video. Just close the tab. This shit sucks. <laughs> please. Please go away. <laughs> this is not a video that I wanted it's to not make. not a good video. This is not a video that I planned on making, or I really hoped I never would have to make it. Um, Right now, DSP... He's gaming, acting like somebody actually died. He's in grave jeopardy. Grave jeopardy. Of being shut down under completely illegal and false pretenses. <laughs> It's not fair, because I've done absolutely not? nothing wrong whatsoever. And I did nothing wrong. I did absolutely nothing wrong. I did everything what, right. What did the outsider do wrong? What did Snort Burnell do wrong? They did nothing wrong. I'm being ah, like, Big up sadistic for the membership, man. I did, because okay. YouTube's copyright system is broken. We were all worried this was going to happen, because as you know, my haters, detractors, whatever you want to call them, recently have all been up in arms against me, claiming that they've been receiving tons and tons of false copyright strikes against their accounts uh, in my name. You see the, the, the nice, like, lawyer speak? They're claiming they do that. Allegedly, that happened to them. Hmm, very interesting. But when it happens to Phil, it's solid, it's set in stone, and it's illegal instantly right off the bat. Earlier this month, I made an entire series of stuff. I did a whole a thread series. showing that I well, talked a six to part documentary. About it. I then showed <laughs> to everyone my YouTube claim. He talked to a chatbot and then made himself look even more suspect that by showing that he copyright striked uh, super crazy for a video that was transformative in nature and abides by fair use. And he took down a uh, loopholes video like five years ago. I haven't claimed any. And he took down DDM. Any of these videos and showing you guys I have nothing to do with it. Okay. I didn't do it. 
I'm not doing this false. Also, that wasn't really proof that he had nothing to do with it. He has multiple emails. He has multiple channels. Claims system. And I know that apparently YouTube channels are getting suspended, shut down, whatever it may be because of it. It's not me doing it. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. Yeah, it's in your name, Phil. I'm not involved. And he didn't do really much to clear up his name. So, okay. It kind of looks like it's you at the end of the day. If they're going through and your name is on it, then it's you, my guy. As, as far as everybody's concerned, it's you. Even though I believe it's not him. I did my best. It just looks like he's super fucking suspicious. Due diligence. And, and then he talked to a YouTube bot for 45 minutes and got angry at it. YouTube will not listen to Very me. Very nice. So what's happened is in the last several weeks, my haters, detractors, and trolls have vowed to basically hurt me in some way. Who said this? Through Where? Legal means. When? How? What? <laughs> Why didn't they invite me to that meeting where they were vowing to hurt him? Because they know Come that on, legally dude. there's nothing they can really do. So it's like we had like secret Illuminati meetings. We have to hurt Phil. How do we hurt Phil, you guys? How to Phil is winning. Do whatever they can to Phil is gonna me, win, you guys. Did nothing to hurt them. The Illuminati. If you can believe it, if that sounds any kind and of. And he did nothing to hurt I, I anybody so. else. Okay, sure. But I was wondering what was going to happen, and it's been about three weeks since this whole thing started happening. Um. And nothing has really happened. And I was like, I guess maybe, I don't know, I got lucky. Or maybe YouTube's system is good and isn't being fooled by whatever kind of malicious activity these people are trying to do against me. I don't know. Sadly, today, I guess that luck ran out. <laughs> His luck ran out. The pig roach luck ran out. But don't be, uh, don't be super hyped about it. This is a repeat of the, this is how you don't play copyright strikes from last year. He's gonna wait for two weeks, they're gonna get cleared up, he's gonna be smug and arrogant yet again, and the cycle is gonna keep repeating. So, yeah, this is not exactly gonna be the end of DSP Gaming in any kind of capacity. If anything, it's just another crybaby video. He's made plenty of crybaby videos. If you go look up Alert or Emergency on any of his channels, there are at least 10 videos that are like that. Because as of right now, this just happened during my late night stream. DSP Gaming received multiple copyright strikes, okay? They right. are not valid whatsoever. How do you know? All right? They're just not. Oh. What they are are for music. What they're for is from the introduction to my pod. The one that I got reacting to um, a DSP video from his channel about copyright, that one wasn't valid. I can say that, uh, and I also beat the claim. Uh, but... I don't really know about using somebody else's licensed music and how that cannot be right. Podcast, hmm. the level one podcast. If you Very remember, I started calling my podcast, the level one podcast around summertime last year. And within only a couple of weeks of having that podcast running, someone made an introduction for me. And it was me with the green screen kind of dancing around in front of it. It actually featured, uh, you know, I guess the comedian or former comedian, Andy Dick, uh, doing it, you know, talking. And it basically played over what sounded like an instrumental and a spin-off a spin-off Eminem song my name is you know now if you're if you're gonna be like dsp and pretend like you know about legal stuff and like run your mouth and gum flap about legal stuff a lot you might want to use the actual terms it was either a sample or it was an interpolation or it was the original instrumental in any way if they want to take you to court they can actually beat you very easily. And you can look up uh, Juice World versus Sting about uh, Shape of My Heart, which is a very popular song. Juice World interpolated the, uh, the actual notes, the actual melody in his song, Lucid Dreams. Sting sued him over this, and he won. Because it's Sting's song, even though it's interpolated. And my name is Slim Darksy, right? Is what it said as the lyric in there. Okay. With Andy Dick doing the lyrics or whatever. Sure. It's funny. People like it. And I've been using this intro ever since the summer of last year on my daily level one podcast. Now, I must assure you, I looked into it when I got this intro. Oh. This intro does not use the Eminem song. Yeah, but it uses a sample or an interpolation. Turkey type of version of the song. Uh, a cold turkey type of thing. Basically, yes. So if you're using a sample interpolation, they can still claim it. It's still their song. It's still their intellectual property. That's just how it works. At all. It's not in there. Okay? It's someone else's instrumental rendition of the Eminem song with things changed around to the point where legally you couldn't argue it's the same song. This song 
has been changed with other instruments and things and tweaks to it, there's no way that you can argue that is the Eminem song. Yes, you it's actually can because people have done it and it's also not changed enough. It's literally just like a recreation of the beat at best because it sounds exactly like that beat. It sounds exactly like the My Name Is beat. It's just somebody ripped the instrumental and put Andy Dick on top of it. Very sloppily. Definitely not. Okay, legally it's not. It's legally it is and you're gonna lose. So stop running your mouth. Been transformed enough, it's not. But now my trolls are angry. Because the trolls are angry. Is doing the false he is not angry. Are shutting down their content, and now they feel like I guess they have to lash out against me, even though again shutting me down and my content doesn't fix the problem. It doesn't make your content come back. All it does is make me not be able to make content on DSP Gaming, and it means that essentially now there's no content to be had anywhere. You can't make fun of me because I can't you make see? content. It's now we looped around. It's it's an exact like bar for bar, beat for beat, repeat of the wings begging begging the wings trolls to leave them alone from from last year if you take down all the lol cows who do you have left you have no one left to make fun of it's the exact same thing and now he's on his knees sucking sucking dicks that's what he's doing he's on his knees please daddy troll please please remember what was it like two weeks ago after his on his birthday stream how smug he was how cocky this man was uh, never ask me for help ever again. I'm not gonna bother for any of you fucking idiots. And now he's on his knees again. And we don't even know if he's planning to pr pray or suck some dicks. We Listen, don't know. Might be both. Depending on what he enjoys more. Sense. So what you're doing makes no logical sense. So here's what happened. And now Obviously, he has to logically appeal to the trolls. Claims. Ah, yes. Claiming. He had two days ago. Two days ago, he had this big segment about, I have to make a PSA. These people on the internet, they're not normal. They're sick in the head. They're fucked up. And I was like, you guys, come on. If you take me down, who are you going to make fun of? What did he say when we asked him to email it? Boohoo, too bad, so sad. Don't come crying to me. Go get a lawyer and sue someone. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, that's what he should do. He should definitely do that. Again, I'm 100%. It's going to go great. Please, Phil, go go sue Eminem. <laughs> this song, the uh, Eminem song, because hate uh, my name is, is being used in those videos when it is not. I saw this and I went and sadly had to delete. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's true. I had to permanently delete every single episode of the Level 1 podcast since last yep. summer that used that intro. I there we go. So this is uh, verified, confirmed a 100,000%. A These are deleted. Despite parody being legal. Oh yeah, even Weird Al has to do it. Because you know, in, in the big leagues, they can, they can screw you like real bad. Because this is like YouTube shit. This is just like, they're gonna take down your video, delete your channel, whatever, but yeah. Safe, so I basically went all the way back to like July. I basically went back to like, I think there's eight episodes left. You can only watch episodes <laughs> one through eight of the level one podcast. Yeah, but then before that is the pre-stream podcast. So why are you trying to make it seem like it's such a big deal? Even though for him, I mean, yeah, look at this. There were 180 episodes, 181, until it got rebranded to the level one podcast. And the level one podcast episode one is smug as fuck. If you want some good gold dust, you can go there. It's a uh, super cope. Uh, anyways, this is going to destroy him in the algorithm. It's a repeat of the whole machinima told me to delete all these videos thing, except it's 250 videos. And let's assume each one had a thousand views. Uh, I guess that's a pretty low estimate because some of them might have more, some of them might have less. This is 250,000 views that are gone from his channel. They're just gone. And he's not doing very well in the first place. Look at this. Look at this. This humiliating amounts of views. Of course, these ones from yesterday, they're obviously not very good. Let's let's scroll down a little bit. Look at this. Silent Hill 3. Uh, outside of the last one, which is called the Rage-Filled Conclusion, and people clicked on it because he almost rage quit the game. Last one got 297. 230. Uh, the Daily Wrap from... Five days ago, 837. It's not doing very well. And uh, I guess now he needs to start begging for like actual 200, 300, 500 likes a stream. Because the 100 likes a stream, that's not going to help him out, my guy. That's not going to help him out. That's it. The rest of them are gone. Including gone. And this was, a, this was a very panic thing. I, I'm not entirely sure why he decided to delete them like instantly. 
or maybe it's ignorance because he doesn't know how disputing stuff works and how that stuff works which is pretty easy to like look it up and actually learn it because the the information is out there uh he could have put him on, on private even though uh they would still like the views would still go away from his channel as far as i know but he could always get the videos back but i guess uh he doesn't want to do that and he just wiped it all away in a in one single stroke this episode just like Derek, which most of you probably didn't even get to watch okay so if you're looking at dsp gaming and you're wondering what the heck happened to the level one podcast i had to delete almost the entirety of the history of the show that used that intro now it's not the fault of the person who made the intro they didn't use the track it's not their fault it's not my fault it's YouTube's copyright system and the very malicious person breaking the law trying to shut down DSP Gaming. <laughs> Sue on, Phil. Two Sue strikes. On. If I get Go. one more, the channel will be suspended. And if I don't get a counter notification granted by YouTube for any of these, um, the channel could be terminated. This channel has been around for 13 years. Look, uh, what I think is very important in videos like this is not just paying attention to what he's saying, but how he's saying it. Because... To somebody, it might look like he just said, if I get another copyright strike, my channel is going to go away. It's it's all gone. And he acts like it when he was appealing to the trolls. It's like, oh, you guys, if you delete my this and this and this. But you forget that he has actual contacts at YouTube if he decided to, I guess. Uh, he's got a pretty big channel. He's got a check mark. He's got ways to combat this shit. He's got ways to, to figure it out. So this is, if anything, just another way to make an emergency situation knowing that 90 percent there's a 90 percent even i would even say 95 percent chance within two weeks he's just gonna get him cleared up and it's all gonna be back to normal he's gonna make a pre-stream flossing on the trolls and then the cycle is gonna repeat a year from now 13 years it's got and now uh, uh, of course we go into the the cataclysm segment, the disaster baiting segment, when we talk about, man, it was, it would be so bad if this happened. It would be like the worst thing if that happened. But he knows himself. There's a very low chance that's going to happen. All of my work for 13 years on it. I don't want to see it go away because someone is abusing YouTube system and there's apparently no apparently. defense against it. Now, just so you guys know, I talked to YouTube. I went to a YouTube chat tonight. YouTube chat, so he texted a bot. I talked to them for roughly... Yeah, I would say fear-mongering is a very good, very good word. Because this type of situations have been, like, uh, according to a pattern, has been very good to him. Because you'll see. Remember he claimed Machinima told him to delete the videos using the... Yeah, they, they told him to do that. Clearly that was actually pig panicking too. Uh, but back then at least he had the support of Machinima. Now he got nobody's support. Not even his own fucking fans care enough. Uh, but anyways, uh, according to a pattern, you see that this kind of situations work out for him because he gets to reinforce the pignosis. People show up and support him and tell him how meaningful and important and amazing he is. And they give him money. And in the end of the day, it all gets cleared up. We move on to the next thing. I won't believe it until he shows receipts. I definitely believe it. I think uh, deleting 250,000 views worth of videos, at least, is receipts enough. Look at all this shit. This is all gone. You can't get these back. It's all gone. 45 minutes. I think that's receipts all enough. Right. Here is their response. There's nothing we can do. Is this the same guy who uploads daily rap videos that get like a thousand views at most each? <clears throat> if you submit a counter... So he, he definitely, it definitely hit him, hit him right home. We should have someone look into it and determine whether or not it's valid or not. And if it's, if we still can't tell if it's valid or not, then you have to wait for the counter notification to okay. go through. And if it goes through, then within, you know, two weeks time, the copyright strike will be removed from your channel. But... Right. That's not exactly how this works. You submit the appeal and... You have uh, 10 working days for somebody to show proof that they've actually engaged in a lawsuit with you. They need to sue you and then send proof when you do that. And he knows this, but now we're uh, we're trying to make it seem like 
it's it's more likely than it's not gonna happen tell if it's right? valid or not then you have to wait for the well, i don't know if it's like valid or not. to go through and if it goes through then within you know what does going time, through mean the copyright strike is it a pipe and you put something in a pipe and you watch it go through the other side it says very specifically what exactly is going to happen there's plenty of documentation on that they have to send you information and and proof in court documents that they've actually sued you you move from your channel but and he knows this he knows this you just keep in quiet to make it much much more of a disaster than what it actually is and he's been through this very same thing last year this very same thing and now we keep in quiet because you know man Maybe if I can make myself out to be a much bigger victim than I'm actually am, people are gonna show up and support me more than ever before. And I'll get to see that I actually have some support. It's not just those fucking idiot trolls. That's a big, a big if. It's what a big if. You can't determine if it's valid or not. Everything went wrong on YouTube. What it you basically is. YouTube is just not doing due diligence, which it sounds like they're not. They already granted the false strikes, right? So what if they don't grant the counterclaims, right? Or I don't know. What if someone tries? What if a, a meteor hits my house right now? I know it's extremely unlikely, but if I really want to get paranoid about it, I can. Just hit my channel with another false strike, which could very much happen. Okay, and you're gonna dispute them. Also, as a partner, you get a seven-day period where your channel will, for real, not not be terminated. And as long as you're having an appeal, it will still not be terminated. It's not hard to figure out. Oh man. Someone could hit my channel with you see, and now we need to like make it up. It's like I the fucking it be, I don't know, man. Well, could try. It's literal fear mongering. It's like, man, what if like this happens right now? He knows it's not gonna happen. He knows it's not gonna happen. He wants to frame it as people are trying to make it happen, and the moment it happens, he's gone, and he's never coming back, even though he is the next day. And that could be the end of DSP Gaming until I can get a counterclaim granted. So this is absolutely ridiculous. Oh. I've done nothing I agree wrong. I to disagree. BTW new WWE event today. Look, man, this is a this is just a silly narrative that's really not backed by anything. If you're trying to imply that he's doing this specifically just to get some extra pity dollars, this is not the this is not the, the play for him. Sampled from a Lady Sifra song. Okay, so it's maybe it's the uh, Lady Sifra dudes. You think that? Wrong. I maybe. I don't really know. Did not strike any of my haters or detractors with anything. I but then the, you know, you, you got the sample and then you have a beat on top of it that already has been cleared. Like they cleared the sample to make the my name is song. So I would guess in that context where you have the whole beat together, not just the sample, it's Eminem song. So he's the guy who can take him down. Nothing whatsoever. To if even that's that's even the case. Do with it. But YouTube system is so broken that they're acting like I did. And well, they're acting like I'm, you know, I'm doing things wrong on my channel. They're granting the false strikes against me. They're granting the false strikes against others. All right. Okay. So YouTube's impression is we will not help you. I tried. Like I said, I had a 45 minute conversation with them today and they eventually came back at the end and said, no, we, we're not going to do anything. You know what they want to know what they told me? Here's actually a word for word what they told me. Go seek legal help. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. That's what they told me. Okay. They said, go. These are our processes. Why are you crying on the internet on a stupid 15 minute video? Go get help, buddy. If you don't feel that they're sufficient, go seek legal help. Right? So I think I have to. Sure. At this point, and the thing is, do I have the money for that? No, I don't. Do I really okay. have the time for that? No, I don't. Then how are you going to do it then? You don't have the time and the money, but you have to do it. How are you going to do it? I don't really get that many merch sales anymore. Truth of the matter is, I just really don't have a lot of free time behind the scenes anymore to do anything. Of course. And I'm too busy uh, running errands. A slew of new designs ready for like a month and a half. I'm not even kidding. I just don't have time to fucking sit there and do the manual updates. You know, every night I'm in here so late. The few nights I'm not in here late is because Cat's home. Like tonight, Cat is actually home. She's not working. So as soon as I get out of here, I gotta shave because tomorrow we're going out and I want to look presentable. So I gotta shave and wash up. Um. I gotta check on some bills and stuff so I know what bills and stuff. I even have to go out tomorrow <laughs> and if I have anything available to fucking uh, Remember but when Potion was there? It was such a such a great time, um, dude. Someone is destroying my channel. They're trying to destroy my business. Trying a to destroy my year business. year running business, which I've never had issues with copyright. Pro what? What? Excuse me?
problem is we've never had issues with copyright that's that's absurd but you know what he's actually trying to say is i've never had issues that like violating someone's copyright that's what he's trying to say even though he got taken down when he was playing like wwe 2k 20 21 or whatever it was all the work that i put into this 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 entity this this, entity. it's not a business it's because it's, it's not, not a business. I don't, own a business. <laughs> I don't legally own a business anywhere. And now they're lying and they're trying to fool YouTube system to maliciously hurt my channel. And I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So I'm reaching out. I don't know. He doesn't have time to defend his business. Of course. Sounds legit. Of course. But we have time to watch playthroughs with, with his wife. That's what he has time to do. How quickly I'll hear a cat today. She was playing uh, Horizon Forbidden West and I stood for, for 10 hours to watch her play it. Back from anyone. Yeah, that's an actual story. He, he was sitting there watching cat play a game for 10 hours. But I'm going to reach out and hopefully hear back and have to maybe start a legal process. I don't legal even know what process. else to say. Yeah, he wanted to do a fundraise for a lawyer. But dude, you know this shit's going to get cleared up in two weeks. If you do a, a a legal fundraiser and that's gonna be like before those two weeks pass because you need to do it fast. If we're gonna do that and then you get the strikes cleared up because nobody responded to your appeal and it automatically got cleared up, you get to pocket all the funds. You see? Because there's no need for a lawyer. Well, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. I've done absolutely positively nothing wrong. I've not even used the song that I'm being accused of used it. Yeah, you using, did though. And the company you did. claiming the song is not the company who owns the rights to it. It's not Universal Music Group claiming the songs. So So it's not UMG though. It's preposterous. It still could be somebody else. It doesn't have to be them. It, you get a lot of different claims from a, a lot of different companies constantly. So you you actually never know. At every single step of the way. Now, one final thing. I hope that you've gotten this far through the video. If DSP Gaming goes away, because tomorrow's my day off, I'm taking my day, normal day if off. If it I goes away, of course we got some more uh, disaster if baiting. If DSP Gaming goes away tomorrow, I'm going to do my best to try to get the counter notification submitted. All right? Yeah, I would, I would rather be optimistic as in... I don't know if optimistic is the, the right word, but thinking that nothing is going to come out of this than being super hyped that this is the end of DSP and he's going to be destroyed because it's not and he won't. I mean, that's that's just kind of how it is. And hopefully, if anything, the pre-stream tomorrow is going to be hilarious, if anything. And the next like two weeks are going to be pretty funny. But after that, it's just going to be a repeat of the Wings thing. It's going to be the same thing again. Uh, They'll go through and the channel will come back. Now, in the meantime, I will still have access to my other YouTube channels. DSP Reacts still exists, okay. still will be working fine. My old channels, like KO Gaming, still exists, still will be working fine. So in the meantime, if that means we have to go over to those channels and do content on there instead of DSP Gaming, I guess that's what I have to do. Now, obviously, that's awful. I don't have oh, nearly yeah, it's gonna the viewer be... base or subscriber God, base. It's going to be so bad. Imagine. Imagine... He fucking, uh, he goes on the, on the DSP Reacts channel and starts spamming gameplay videos. It's gonna destroy everything he built up for the last, what it was, like, four or five months, whatever, since he announced it. It's gonna destroy all that progress. That channel's gonna turn into a landfill, kind of like what KO Gaming is now. And it's gonna be another channel destroyed and violated and ruined. On those channels that I do on DSP Gaming, uh. right? So that's going to hurt a lot. I'm probably going to get a big dip in views. Big I'm dip. probably going to get a big dip in support, quite frankly. And you and see, this is me. all just like paranoia segment. He's talking about things that are not even going to happen. The chance of this happening is really, really low. Like, really low. But what? Because it didn't happen last time. And last time was the same shit. He got two strikes. He waited two weeks. He got a bunch of pity bucks. And he made that single disaster pre-stream and it all got Funny cleared up and then he was flexing money for sweaty man jpegs but never for anything else truly mature adult dude well obviously i mean you gotta put your priorities first of course hogan's before everything did i do nothing i did nothing wrong he did yeah. nothing wrong and we got the meme we got the meme this is like a repeat of thousands of videos he's made like this and by thousands i mean like 10 but that, like, 10 emergency videos are, are still a lot for, like, a normal guy who never did anything wrong. I think 10 emergency videos are quite a lot.
I'm being punished as if something went, I did something wrong. Um, I, didn't, I, did nothing I did wrong. check with YouTube on this. How? And they did answer, yes, you can do that. They said, the channel in question being hit with copyright strikes is the only channel affected. If you have other YouTube channels and other content, you can still create content on those channels, no problem. I hope this is true. Um, hold on. How did this work, though? Don't you get, if one of your channel gets deleted by, like, DMCA, whatever violation, copyright strikes, and strikes in general, don't you lose all of the channels that are under the same email? So he probably just made multiple emails in multiple accounts under those emails. So, yeah. I hope that they weren't lying to me. This is what they told me today, again, in YouTube chat. So... And That's they told them in YouTube chat. The word a bot told them. First comes ha comes to pass, and DSP Gaming gets shut down for these false strikes. In the process of me trying to get counter notifications issued, I'm going to be using DSP Reacts and very nice. Uh, you know, maybe KO Gaming, an older channel, in order to make content. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna put gameplay on DSP Reacts, but we could do some React content and pair that off, probably with content over on, you know, KO Gaming or something. We'll see. Now, worst case scenario. If what YouTube is telling me was not true, which would be really messed up, then we're <laughs> they lied to, to him. Alternate <laughs> memes. I might have to return. They have to try alternate memes. Uh, but what if? But what is the the scenario if YouTube tells him something and it's not true? Then does that mean all of his channels are gonna get deleted? I'm thinking so. Hmm. Back to Twitch. Temper. It sounds like to me if if the worst case scenario is all his channels get deleted, that is a pretty bad case scenario. Rarely now on Twitch. I'm not in any kind of a program. I'm not in the of course. or the partner program. This is, uh, he knows how much bullshit this is, but he's trying to pass it off as like, man, I really don't want to do this. All accounts linked to phone hash get banned. Oh, okay. Well, it's it's not going to happen to him, but it, it's nice to know. So here's the thing though. On Twitch, he goes there. Day one, he becomes affiliate. He can already make money from bits and subs, right? And partners, I don't think they get much more than that. And he's going to be a partner within a week or maximum a month during which he's going to be begging like a dog and people are going to be sending him tips like crazy because it's it's DSP getting getting kicked out of a platform. It's hyped for them. It's a lot of hype. Uh, but he knows this entirely. The whole narrative is he doesn't want to go to Twitch because he he was shit talking him for two straight years. After he got kicked out, he was shit talking him. It's the biggest piece of shit. Oh my God, Twitch, these fucking idiots. And of course, uh, some of those pre-streams when he was shit talking him, they're deleted. Uh, so you can't really find him shit talking him unless I've watched it or Tevin's watched it or Ant Lead or Piece of Peace or some, some restreamer that is still up has watched it. So you can't actually see it. But yes, he really doesn't want to, he doesn't want to go there. So I have two tabs playing music. No, I have just one, but that's an OBS. I'm going to turn it off for now. Uh, how do we even do that? There we go. There we go. I have to temporarily just stream there for a little bit, hoping for the best. And then I'm probably going to have to look into third party options. I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to go to these other places. People have told me about, I guess, places like they're called Kick or Kick. Rumble or something. You should go on Kick and be like, you guys, I just found out. Kick doesn't even have terms of service. He should be like Aiden Ross and go there and, and accidentally go through Derek's Twitter day one. Oh. You guys, look, I can I play whatever I want. In the saga, but I think this has a lot of potential if he scams the dents for legal action money. Well, yeah, because like I said earlier, that's exactly how this would go. Is he would have like one big fundraiser during these two weeks when he he's supposed to wait for the, the counterclaim like response then he's gonna get enough money to go to a lawyer he's gonna get way more than enough because you know it's it's fucking phil he's gonna tell you a lawyer cost a large sum of money so people are gonna start sending him like actual hundreds and thousands of dollars and then he's gonna pay for a lawyer once so the lawyer can can tell him you know what you should just wait for the 10 days to expire and then that's gonna happen the strike's gonna go away, and Phil is gonna have scammed a bunch of dents for thousands of dollars. For for lawyer funds that never actually went to a lawyer. Because that's that's just kind of how shit would go with DSP. Like that. I don't want to do that. I've been on YouTube since 2008. I've built a community. 
Really? From the ground up for 14 plus. This is my 15 year anniversary this year. 15 years of celebration. Of Phil. 15 years of chill. <laughs> 15 years of Dark Side Phil, right? Wow. How is it fair that someone is breaking the law, lying, and I'm being punished for it? When I've done absolutely positively nothing yeah, wrong. Yeah, that's I've, what we keep asking about channels that we like going, getting terminated on your behalf with your name attached to them. That's exactly what we're asking, Phil. How is it fair? It's almost like life isn't fair and sometimes people abuse stuff. And that's fucked up. I violated no terms of service. I violated no copyright. But the difference is I can feel bad for some of those dudes making videos because I like them and they put in a lot of effort for them. I can't feel bad for Dark Side fucking Phil. So you can go and uh, do, uh, you know, what the pastor is going to tell you to do. Suck a dog off. Laws. I'm doing everything in the right like I always have. And now somehow I'm at what risk Jesus of losing. What suffered for <laughs> all mankind was nothing compared to what the gouty pig roach suffers daily. <laughs> Bro. The crown of snorts weighs heavy. Bro, he, this reminded me when he unironically compared himself to Job in the Bible. A dude who got his whole family and everything killed by God. And he was still persevering. He unironically compared himself to Job. Bruh. Using everything. You can probably find it somewhere. It's it's actually like no joke. I am reaching out to He's a reaching out to hopefully talk to someone about this and get help. Because I don't actually You should talk to Rikita. He's gonna do it for free. I'm sure he would do it for free. Rikita's probably even tweeted at DSB. You know what else to do. Now, like I said. I don't have money and time for this. So And then DSP is going to write him like a 16 paragraph email. If I need help, I'm going to let you know. If I need to even have like a legal fund for this to there talk to go. a lawyer and figure out why am a I supposed to protect fund. my business when YouTube is granting false claims all over the place. They're granting false claims. By the way, he got paid from YouTube actual literal thousands of dollars. Like what on Friday, not even a week ago. And you're trying to tell me all that is gone. You can't invest any of that into a lawyer and you don't have any of that saved? Wow. And now it sounds like they're granting other false claims against me too. What am I supposed to do? Maybe the lawyer will have answers. Maybe the lawyer will be able to contact YouTube and get it all cleared up. I don't know. But I'm just starting the process. That's the other problem. You're just starting the process. I don't know process. how long it'll be. He doesn't but, know. You know, for me to even hear back from someone. Oh, and right, I right, right. <laughs> he sounds like Vanilla Ice trying to explain how a baby is not the same Bro, as any yeah. <laughs> I, I'm going to pull this up. This is awesome. Anniversary on YouTube. Didn't he spend years on Twitch? Uh, yes, but he still had a YouTube channel that was um, a posting bullshit on it. Vanilla Ice explains difference. Yes, dude. Yes, this is golden. This was making it different. It's totally different. It's a rap song. It doesn't sound anything like that. And just to prove his point, Vanilla breaks it down and sings the dings. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. That's the way theirs goes. Ours goes ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. That little bitty change. You see? It's not the same. the same thing, dude. Ding, 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 ding. There's ghost. Ding, 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 ding. It's not Eminem's song, you fucking idiots. It's erroneous. Uh, big ups, uh, Warren, Mr. Extravagant. A lawyer's deductible. Can we, uh, I would figure the delivery fee is going to be pretty big. Get the ball rolling on something like this, and this is all happening in real time. It's like, all happening in real time. During my late stream. It should happen in slow-mo. Even if it was happening in slow-mo, he still wouldn't know how to deal with it. And now the channel's in jeopardy of being shut down when I've done big absolutely ghost nothing politics. wrong. And there we go. He's done absolutely nothing wrong. Then, then how are bad things happening to him? He's, uh, it's all been uh, erroneous. And I mean, I guess that's it. This took, what, like almost 50 minutes. Plus the intro. I guess, I guess that's it. Uh, now we can go to the next other different segment where we could watch other stuff. I, I don't know what. Let's see what's up in my sub box. Uh, with all of... My fellow Americans, my fellow detractors, let's see what we got. Today, uh, Take and Else got a weekly roast, which they're probably going to be talking about the copyright stuff, so you can go check them out on the Take and Else channel. Then we got, what do we have up? We have the fish tank. Yeah, yesterday Simmons got exposed for basically being a Derek, and he might even be worse than a Derek.
so yeah that's pretty crazy and um i don't know what's what's up with this the pig roach memoirs is this an animation mm. i'll see it later then uh why am i sub to this guy on this channel god damn it this channel is only for detractors nobody else allowed and big ups uh c my go for the membership uh Am I going to be on tomorrow? Uh, no. No. I'm off tomorrow. Girlfriend's coming back. Yeah, well, Phil took his day off tomorrow today, so it's not a big deal, huh? Uh, I I guess? I guess. I guess since Phil still took yeah. his day off today, it's not that a big problem. Uh, I don't know. We could go... You know what? Let's revisit some of the old emergency videos and see how similar they are to, to this one. So DSP Gaming Emergency, uh, this is, I think that's enough. So this is 10 hours ago, this is the one that I just watched. I'm happy Memology got more views than this dude. This is my favorite one of all time. Uh, oh yeah, they're gonna pay all the big bills, dude. They're gonna come through with uh, overwhelming support. This uh, is one of my favorite thumbnails of all time. Like, just, just look at this. I mean, just look at this. Hands on the head, disaster mode. He knows that this is the thumbnail. He has nothing against it. He doesn't mind it. That's perfect. So let's see what we got here. We got a uh, KO Gaming, DSP Gaming, true MCN story. This is a vintage Snort Burnell. Big ups to that one. Swatted. What happened in moving forward? This is one of his most obnoxious videos of all time. Like the amount of smugness and fucking arrogance you can see in this one. And he also looks like trash. But uh, you can see there's kind of the origins of the blobfish look. Where you can see his lips are kind of bendy like a blobfish. Where did it go? Yeah, you can see this. It's kind of... He's constantly... He got a resting frowny face. That's that signature blobfish look. Anyways, let's see. Um, DSP game. Emergency. False copyright claims. Here's what happened. 2015. Let's see what's happened. And how it's different from what is happening now. Uh, who's my favorite on the fish tank? I gotta say... Um, I don't really know. I don't know. I like John because he's obviously like the most interesting one. But he is crazy. He's crazy. He's the most entertaining one. And I guess um, Damiel got put back. I don't know why they brought this dude back. Even though he was out for like two weeks. No, not two weeks. What am I fucking talking about? It was out for like two days and then was on Twitter a lot. So he knows everything people are talking about. So look at this great intro. The stream will be starting shortly. Please stand by. The camera is on. It's fantastic. He comes here. Does he even know the camera is on? Is he even aware? Yeah, I also like Josie. She's fun. With her toys. Okay. Is this actual like 10 minutes? Yeah, it's actual 10 minutes. In the video. I guess what we'll do is, uh, <laughs> hold on. This is so stupid and clumsy, man. Move this stupid thing. Yeah. And I'll start recording just in case something goes wrong with the stream. But what I'm going to be doing with this video is just like I've done with the other videos, which were kind of emergency videos I didn't want to make. Emergency uh, Live videos. stream it and then just let it go live on YouTube by itself <laughs> rather than me having to re-upload or whatever, okay? It starts uh, exactly like the one that that he currently had it's like oh it's another video i didn't want to make <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen this video is bad all right so here we go oh. imagine if he actually loses his monetization and the drama that follows that would be the best story arch ever you know the the problem with with him is that it's not even a problem i guess the solution with him it's not taking away his YouTube channel, getting it banned. It's just getting him kicked out of the partner program. In the moment he can't make any more money on YouTube, he's fucking gone. All those super chats, all the gifted memberships, memberships. If they go away, he's fucking gone. He's on Twitch the next day. So you don't really need to delete his channel. You just need to take away his partnership. Okay, everyone. Well just, it's going to be just the same thing like what happened on Twitch. Just the same thing. Well, Darkside Phil here with a video again, another video I didn't plan on making. 
uh, but his life, right? The life of a full-time YouTuber who, the life of for pie. whatever reason, attracts the ire of people on the internet. For whatever All reason. Do is daily <laughs> have fun and play games and do fun stuff with you and share that with you. But it's there's the always life. someone who's jealous. There's always someone who's jealous. Angry. There's always someone who's pissed about something and wants to shit on your living room floor. As I've said many times in the past, that's my analogy. Imagine someone, for whatever reason, you don't even know who they are. Or, you know, there used to be someone who maybe you thought was someone who was a, a trusted friend or fan. Well, it's right in the middle of your living room floor, takes down their pants, and takes a nice big steamy fucking dump, right? Unfortunately, that's pretty much what happened uh, today. And uh, okay. I need to explain, the reason I'm doing this video, normally <laughs> if it was something that really wasn't a big deal, I wouldn't make a video. Bro, about this is like, I kind of... In a way, I miss this DSP because he was so arrogant and so greasy and so fucking smug. And now it's just like, what's left of that? It's it's like you take all the meat off the bone and then you just got rotting flesh and bone. And that's all you got. Just gloss over it. Or Doesn't even have energy to be this fucking salty anymore. Eat about it. But there was a pretty big impact today Did on my... Did you see Puff the Bearded Dragon? Puff the Bearded Dragon? Is this, uh, is this what... What what Cobra got? He got like a he got a lizard because his his friend gave him to him or something. I don't really know, but I haven't seen him. My business overall that threatened my business, uh, I almost got some of my business completely shut down at least temporarily. <laughs> and it is completely bogus, complete bullshit. It's absolutely it's in my opinion when someone is going to troll you and they're going to make detracting videos about you or they're going to troll you on Twitter or whatever that's one thing but when someone either tries to actually end or or fight end your business or financially financially harm your business or if they physically <laughs> threaten you that's when it's okay. going over the line okay that, if they physically threaten you it's over the line it is that's the you know there's one thing if you don't like someone I mean, and you want to like make threats on the internet are really easy to make man you can just like open up Twitter and DM Pretty much any random account. Hey, I'm coming to you and I will break your kneecaps. You can do this to pretty much anybody and get away with it. It's not like such an extreme crazy thing to do. Now, if somebody was to do it, that is crossing the line, obviously. Trollish videos you want to say. There's another thing if you want to try to end their livelihood, which is what happened today. <clears throat> so, <sighs> let's get into it, okay? Let me explain okay. the situation because a lot of people have no I idea mean, what I'm talking about. I mean, so far... About. So this is a lazy video that started off with 10 minutes of actually nothing. I guess setting up, and, and it's a stream, because he streamed it. Setting up, then saying, oh, there's a bunch of people on the internet that hate me and are jealous for whatever reason. And now we're actually going to get into it. Okay, let's get into it, Phil. And obviously people are going to want to know what the hell's going on. So today I'm live streaming. <clears throat> like always, I'm live streaming. And, uh, you know, I'm playing some Just Cause 2. This is the next to last session that I was going to play this game. And I was getting into Unnecessary you know, getting info. Unnecessary it. info. And as I'm playing it, Worthless. I take a look, as I do frequently when I'm live streaming, as I'm doing right now, I take a look at my stream chat. And I'm looking in the stream chat. And in the stream chat, someone's saying, uh, Phil, are you aware that someone right now is apparently filing copyright strikes against you and that your videos are getting taken down? Now, when I first see something like that, I'm like, eh, okay, it might be someone just saying that to get my attention and get me to stop playing. I've seen stuff like that before in the stream chat. But then other people start to say, it was maybe two people in particular who were saying it in the stream chat today. And when you see them repeatedly saying it, now you're like, okay, something is going on. So as I'm playing the game, while the game's loading between a cutscene, I pick up my phone and I'm, you know, checking here and I'm looking through everything. I'm saying, gee, I wonder, you know, is there any email? Okay, bro. Okay, like, what's what's like this? Christian Low? I'm gonna get that Clyde Cash. Yeah, uh, Christian got this this thing to him where it's everything he does is like super theatrical. It's like a cartoon character doing it. DSP has the same thing, even though it's it's less. It, he still has it. It's like kind of like a main character syndrome. It's like you feel like you're constantly in a movie or something, and you react like it. He's like a like a Marvel movie character, but he sucks. Is one of those, uh, the, the recent phase of Marvel stuff. What's supposed to happen is if you get a copyright claim on YouTube, YouTube is supposed to automatically send you an email that allows you to know about it. So you can either respond to it with a counter notification or delete the video or whatever it is that you need to do. 
Actually, so, a lot of times they don't let you delete the video, or at least they didn't let me. I go ahead and I look at it. Maybe they did. I remember. In my email either. So now I'm really but deleting the video. If you got a strike, deleting the video doesn't change anything suspect and i'm like i wonder what this could be well i'm not gonna end the stream early or anything let me take a break so i actually took a break a little bit earlier than i would have i play only played for about an hour oh you're such a, a nice guy man stream and said okay so let me check everything so first i went to dsp gaming and i refreshed my page checked everything everything's fine on dsp gaming my gameplay channel on youtube okay no problems i go over to the king of hate vlogs I hit refresh, and here's what happens. When you are on your YouTube page <laughs> and logged in, and you get a copyright notification. You get a giant pop-up on your screen that fills your screen and does not allow you to do anything until you acknowledge that you have this claim. I get a pop-up, and it says, you've got not one claim. No, you've got two claims against your account, the King of Hate Vlogs, for the following years, And it actually shows me. Yeah, man, like I said... Back in the day, he had a lot more energy and he was way more smug, but he had much more people caring about this. Because this video got on, almost like 30,000 views, man. And even though it's like from, from way back in the day. But yeah, it's it's fucking, uh, it's crazy. And he, he had a lot more confidence. Nowadays, he's, he's super insecure, like prime insecurity. Ask the king from July, ask the king from June, ask the king from May, ask the king from February, ask the king from pa January. I'm like, okay, I'm seeing a pattern here. Now let me think about what I use in Ask the King. It's all me talking. Literally the whole show is me talking. But what else is in there that could have possibly been claimed as something that's copyrighted? And I'm thinking, well, the only thing I can think of is maybe music, right? And I use an audio clip that I've used in Ask the King since the inception of Ask the King. So I'm pretty sure it's not this audio clip that says male motherfucker. How could it possibly be that, right? <clears throat> so I'm thinking, all right, what else could it be? It's not that. And I'm not thinking... If it's shorter than five seconds from, like, the source material, they can't really strike it. They can't even claim it. In my head, what the hell could this be? So finally, I click on it, and it says, you know, you're going to get information about it when you click, and I do, and it says that it's from Wolf Engine. I don't know who the fuck Wolf Engine is. Wolf I never heard Engine, of Wolf bro. Engine before. I've so never like, watched this, this video be before. Claim. Maybe someone found a way to find something that sounds similar to something in Ask the King or whatever. So I go further into it, and it says it's this section of the show that's been claimed by Wolf Engine. And I click on it. It's the intro to Ask the King. Now, for those of you who watch Ask the King over on my vlogging channel, you know that as of earlier this year, I instituted a new intro to the show that was submitted at that time who I thought was a viewer or a fan or whatever. So I'm like, what the hell? Like, what could this possibly be? The intro to the show is being copyright claimed. Who's Wolf Engine? So I click through it, come to find out Wolf Engine is the YouTube channel of the kid who made this the intro kid. for me? Who uh -oh. told me his name was Jackie Chin or whatever? Jackie Chin. I don't know who this person? What they're. I should go back is. and watch uh, those like old uh, SOK lore stuff, but they're really fucking boring, man. Those dudes are boring as shit. I can't stand watching them, uh, unless it's like some mega drama stuff when they were falling apart and and uh, Fred was in some random like Skype calls with other dudes. That really is there. Like name. the rest of it's just fucking ass or whatever. They're all so fucking bland, and there's like twenty of them, and they're all bland as fuck except Fred, and he's the like actual fucking the most weird one. <clears throat> and now I'm thinking back. Okay, so much earlier in 2015, when I was live streaming daily, I got a kid, message man. on Twitter from someone who I never heard of before. Their name was Jackie Chin, and they said, "Hey, I like to make stream bumpers for people, and I'd like to make you a stream bumper uh, for uh, I believe at that point it was." Uh, Saints Row 4 Get Out of Hell and also for my Dying Light playthrough and I said okay sure I never heard of this person take a shot at it and they sent me this via Twitter and I ended up liking what this person had done and I ended up using it uh, in those videos like in the pre-streams he should he should just start literally using like because if you're as cheap as he is if you're as lazy as he is, if you're as talented, if you claim like you have no time, just use free templates. Don't don't ask people to send you shit. Use free templates. Go on YouTube, find a free copyright streamer starting soon screen. Let's see if that exists, right? Uh, streamer starting soon template. 
there we go. You, you see how many suggestions they got? And you have this one. You have this one. Let's say this one. You take this one. There we go. There we go. This shit's not gonna get taken down. You put this one, you loop it on for 20 minutes if you want to do that shit. And there you go. Look at how many of them are there. Just stop asking people for shit that's gonna get taken down. This shit's been happening. This is the one time it happened. It happened last year with the this is how you don't play copyright stuff. It happened now with something Once somebody else sent up. To watch a Patrick Tomlinson video, child. Paul <laughs> Salin has a great one about his early history to get started. Stalker. Okay, I'll, I'll check it out. For those games, I, I actually this. used those montages as the pre-streams for those games. So I go back. So so anyway, that happened. I remember earlier in the year. Then I remember I is liked this what one? The, the person had done. It's not this. And one. they again submitted oh, this one. Okay. Else. In fact, I have evidence here, I'm ladies gonna and gentlemen. I'm going to put this in uh, go. watch later. Save. Here is the actual tweet from this Jackie Chin person from January 29th. Yeah, big up uh, Ryan Dempsey for the sub. So, anyways, if you're too lazy, too incapable, you don't feel like doing it, just just take something from YouTube. Just like download some random shit that is free, get some copyright free music, put it on. That's it. Oh, well, you know, I actually made a potential intro for your Ask the King, too. Here it is. Whoa. So here's definitive black and white proof. Black and white. That this person, Jackie Chin, made this intro and gave me permission in this tweet. Here's the permission to use this intro for Ask the King. Black and white. You cannot dispute this. They made it for me to use in my videos. This is giving it to me to use in a video. I used it, and apparently the per you know, Jackie Chin, whoever this is, enjoyed the fact that I made this, you know, for me, right? Or whatever. I don't know, but they made it for me. So that's been in the intro of Ask the King. You can make a starting soon screen literally with a good gif and a text source. Yeah. I made mine in like five minutes. You can do a lot of stuff with like whatever is up on youtube the the motion background that i currently have right now that's some shit from youtube every month and thank god it's really it's, it's, it's like it's not that deep man ask the king my monthly q a show and if he's so terrified of stuff like this happening over and over again even though people give him permission and then he's at risk of losing his business just try to do something yourself come on that i only use that intro of trash man one. Because if I actually used that in other parts, those parts could have been flagged for copyright too. But luckily, it wasn't. I was only used in part one. Of also, I gotta show. say, this is off topic, but this shirt looks better on him than any shirt he's wearing nowadays. It just kind of looks kind of loose and like there's space for him to exist in that shirt. It's not just super tight and tiny. So apparently, for whatever reason, uh. this guy, Jackie Chin, who gave me explicit, you know... Uh, uh, permission, permission to use he made consent it using, using my video content by the way which is funny the intro uses my videos of ask the king so obviously it was copyright used there for him to even do it he has no idea how anything works. i'm pretty sure he doesn't even know the difference between strike and claim because he uses it interchangeably he constantly just switches them around me permission to use it and i used it for whatever and they're reason, very different flagging. things so now i'm thinking oh shit now, if this guy, for whatever reason, I, I'll be honest, I've noticed this guy in the past few weeks has kind of started acting negatively towards me, even though I never talked to him. I never actually talked to this person or anything besides when they offer me a new fan art or whatever. Uh, I remember what, it, what the history of this. In fact, I have the history of it for you here. After he had made that Ask the King intro, he also made an intro for me for Evolve, for Dying Light, for my Majora's Mask, and other things. In fact, I've got one right here. Yeah, let's see it so we can strike it again. Oh, no, we can't see forums. it. But we can actually, if I type out this link, I can probably find it. Let me see if I can do that. If that, that is still up, of course. So we got uh, YouTube.com. Watch. And we got the question. Then we got... Ooh, damn. That's a lot of stuff, man. Uh, let me zoom in physically. So we got a C, B, K. K again. What is that? 11? Is that an F1? I, I can't actually tell. But uh, no, this video isn't available anymore. Oh, so it got wiped. Rip. That back in February, after making that intro for Ask the King and doing these other bumpers, this person had gone out of their way to make more. This one actually talks about Majora's Mask and uh, a few other things. Game of Thrones he had done one for, whatever. 
So he made all these for me to use in my videos. Here's blatant permission. Blatant, blatant permission. Black and white permission <laughs> to use this in my videos. You can't dispute this. It's black and white, right? So then I hadn't heard from him in a while. I remember he made one for Evolve and I had used that and a few other things. I actually haven't actually heard from Jackie Chan in a while. And then back in June, if you remember, I actually started using my green screen for the first time. And I did some funny footage of me like posing in front of my green screen. And I was like, gee, I wonder if Jackie would like to do a bumper for my big playthrough coming up, Batman Arkham Knight, being that <laughs> he did really cool stuff with green screen. Yeah, stuff I wonder if this dude want to do some free stuff and for I me actually again. Went ahead and he used to do that weird ear twitching thing even back in the day as well. Submitted the oh. green screen stuff oh, to him DSP and there play. you go again he's taking shit that looks like it's from 2010 bro the, the dude has absolutely no quality control and he constantly complains about anybody else having quality control and youtube having quality control and twitch having quality control he has absolutely none he gave blatant permission he takes everything and... Even shit that uh, looks like you know, ass. To use that in some of it, when he was taking all the troll intros, he was taking shit that intentionally looked bad, and he was putting it in his streams. It was like, oh, you guys, did you see the new intro? It was so good. Whatever it was, June or whatever, I don't know, June of 2015. He said, here it is. He gave me a stream bumper. So he had done all this stuff. He had done all this stuff for me over the course of the year. Now I haven't heard from Jackie in a couple months. All of a sudden, for the past couple of months, okay. I started noticing that Jackie was like coming into the stream chat and he was saying nasty stuff, not only uh -oh. towards me, like insulting me and saying I suck at games and you know, the general shit that you would expect a detractor to say. He started coming into the stream chat and saying stuff like that and I tried to pay it no mind or whatever until he started doing it regularly, which led him to being banned from the stream chat. Cause you can't come in the stream chat and just shit all over me or anyone. He was <laughs> attacking other people in the stream chat who's being a nasty person. Then this past week, he starts going off his rocker, saying insulting and just stuff on my, my website. So, of course, he gets banned there. What do you want me to do? If you're going to associate with that kind of behavior, you're going to have issues. Now, keep in mind, I'm not using anything from Jackie. The only thing that I still use that's from something, you know, from him is uh, that intro to Ask the King. That's it. I don't use anything else from Jackie. That's the only thing. And he hasn't made anything since the Batman well, that's, bumper that's that he made. That's kind of a thing, though. If, okay, if somebody made something for me and then showed up in chat and was an asshole and got banned, then I would stop using the thing he made for me. That's, that's just kind of common sense, you know? Obviously, this dude doesn't like me anymore. I banned him, so if he didn't dislike me before, he probably dislikes me now. Uh, months ago. But no, yeah, I still like using it. For Batman Arkham Knight. What? And certainly now that I see that he's misbehaving, right? He's just misbehaving. Oh, misbehaving. He's talking like a middle school teacher. Yeah, and he's or like a primary school teacher. And he treats his chat like such. He lets him power trip. Like if this dude was a teacher, he would be actually the worst one. Like actually the worst one. It would never would there have been a teacher that's worse than this. Generally, just obviously not happy with He's me for whatever reason. I wouldn't go to him to ask for another intro, and I'm, I'm not stupid enough to. So what's exactly the point of whining on stream to Derek and Jade? Does he think maybe someone at YouTube might see him and go poor Phil? Uh, I mean, no. I guess uh, it's it's kind of the usual thing that I think happens is like, it's both that he's gonna manage to bring out some whales or some whales that have been uh, hibernating for a while that have been waiting for an emergency or not not waiting for an emergency just didn't feel like it was necessary to give him money he wants to bring him out and also to feel like he got more support than the people that are his opposition because it's like you're in a gang that's a pretty weird comparison, but I've been playing GTA San Andreas recently, so that's the thing I can think about. It's like you're in a gang, and you go to, like, a, a, a gunfight, and you're the only one in your gang that has a gun. In the opposing gang, everybody has a gun. So you would feel like you got no support. Do that, you know what I and mean? And I think he feels like that most of the time. Because he knows what kind of people are in, in his chat, and he definitely doesn't like them, definitely thinks he's above them. Because, I mean, it's Jade and Derek. He, he knows them. He's seen pictures of them. He's seen what they post. It's pretty easy to tell with people like that. So, I didn't, and I, you know, I'm kind of ignoring all of this. And apparently today, Jackie takes it upon himself 
to put up these copyright claims. Now, I'm going to actually say that probably he didn't do this today. It takes YouTube a couple days to actually go through with copyright claims and stuff. So maybe he did this a few days uh, ago. This one is done? from August uh, 2015 last week and it took youtube the week the, the recent ones i did in the first uh 45 minutes of the stream so you can go back and and check out what's currently happening and now i'm doing kind of a retrospective on past emergencies to see how similar they are to this one and this is very similar to the one where uh he got struck because of fan art in his pre-stream during the this is how you don't play reaction saga thing he can and he thought it was uh, the wing trolls doing it process and it finally went through to that so, thank God, right? Thank God. Yeah. That yeah. for whatever reason, even though Jackie submitted for multiple videos against the King of Hate vlogs, which are bogus, here is the evidence. Here is the evidence. He, he made these four Your Honor, look at this tweet. <laughs> Your Honor, look at this tweet. This is like when, um, uh, when Young Thug is now on trial. Be like, Your Honor, listen to what he said in a song. He said he killed this guy. Okay. Okay, I guess he's guilty. Set him in, uh, in prison. That's good. Despite that. Court adjourned. He submitted against multiple videos, and apparently YouTube processed and approved, I believe it's four to five videos of mine for this, this clip that Jackie made for me. But luckily, luckily, ladies and gentlemen, luckily, I have to say this. There wasn't more than that. It could YouTube for whatever reason could have get done multiple. Like I said, this was one, and this was one, and this was one, and they could have shut down my King of Hate vlogging channel right now, and you wouldn't be able to watch any videos on there. Okay. Okay. But luckily, I have absolutely no idea why he did this, and I have no idea why YouTube didn't. Look, I, I I see the permission thing. When you're like, hey, Phil, I don't like you anymore. I think you're an asshole now. So can you stop using my stuff? This is what I understand. But like going retroactively and copyright striking him because you liked him at the time you sent it to him, but now you don't like him. That's a dick move. More copyright strikes. Now you may say to yourself, now, wait a minute, Phil. Or, or, or you might say to me, wait a minute. How is this legit? You have black and white proof that Jackie gave you permission to use this, how is YouTube just flagging? YouTube doesn't care. YouTube is an automated system. There's no human involved. All it is, Jackie had this pre-stream or, or, or Ask the King intro on his channel. I use it in my videos. So he just says, black and white, submit it, done. And there's Oh, it's no funny. I'm not saying it's not funny. It's definitely funny. It's definitely super entertaining, but it's still a dick move. Human check. There's a, it's all automated. It's a piece of shit copyright system. It's made okay. for YouTube to protect their own ass. It has nothing to do with actually protecting people's copyright. It has nothing to do with to pay for this so-called lawyer friend, as this sounds like an episode of Judge Judy. Uh hopefully it, it's gonna become. What if he only has money enough money to show up on Judge Judy? That would be hilarious. Or one of those other court shows. Turns out there's like quite a, a few court shows out there. So maybe he's going to be on one of those random ones. With gonna be like, they're going to get some extra, some random hired guy to play the opposition. People who can upload and make creative works, nothing. It's made The defendant is Phil Burnell. Hello, I am present. YouTube's ass, so YouTube doesn't get sued. All right? That's why this worked. And he's going to like it more on the TV court because it's going to be put on uh, on TV. And people are going to see his story and he's going to get to promote his channel. I, I run a business. It's called Brunel Productions. It's an online streaming services. So, ladies... And people will be watching this and be like, Oh, I wonder if they have uh, Harry Potter on there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go become a member. Gents. All this is happening. I realize this is happening. The first thing I, I say is, Oh, shit. Like, I'm in trouble because if one more copyright strike hits the King of Hate vlogs, the channel's gone. That's the truth. If one more copyright okay. strike hits the King of Hate Ironically, right it's always two. It's never one or three. It's always two. It's kind of weird how this works. The channel will be shut down. I don't know. So there I there might be some logic behind it that maybe he doesn't know about, but it's like on YouTube's back end or something. I really don't know. Immediately counterclaimed hmm. those videos that Jackie had put up and said, no, he has permission and I have, you know, I actually have uh, permission I can show you the tweet. I can show you all that if you need to see it. But I got permission from him to use this clip, and this is bullshit. So I filed those counterclaims, all right? All right. 
immediately I'm thinking, oh shit, is there another video that isn't flagged yet? And there was. It was actually the May of 2015. That Ask the King also had this intro from Jackie Chin. So I went over there and I had to do this. I had to delete it. There was nothing else I could do. I had to delete that pre that that hmm. part of Ask the King. So as of right now, oh, he part had to one of Ask the King for me okay. is gone permanently. It's gone. So this kind of puts things in perspective and adds a little bit more context to why he would delete 249 episodes of the Level 1 podcast. Yes, he actually did this. If you're tuning in right now, he deleted 249 videos, which is probably about a quarter of a million views are gone from his channel. And those other parts that I, I counter notified or whatever, uh, you know, are in YouTube's ball, ball, what do they call it? Sack? The, uh, ball court? Whatever it is, they have the ball, ball sack? on it now. Now, from my experience, okay, ball, what happens ball, when you counter claim something, YouTube will go back and say, okay, this person <laughs> claims that they had permission to use this clip. So we'll either ask for further permission or we'll just give them the benefit of the doubt. And then we're gonna, it's going to shoot it back to Jackie who uploaded that. And he's going to say, well, Jackie, guess what? The person says they had uh, legit, you know, a, a permission to use the clip. So if you want to further have issue with this, you're going to have to get a lawyer and sue them. And so it will then be up to Jackie to okay. either sue me for having his intro and ask the king. You see how much he knew back in the day? In 2015, he was a legal guru. He was a god at law. And nowadays it's like, oh my god, man, if I get another one, they're going to delete everything and it's never coming back. She gave me permission to use and made specifically for me. Yeah, in 2015, he knew everything. Yeah, I'm gonna send you this and you need to sue me, you fucking piece of shit, human feces shit fucking face. The whole thing, which, can you take a wild guess what he will do, okay? He's gonna sue you. So You're gonna lose everything. That's so what's going on right now with you. the King of Hate Vlogs. Now, unfortunately, okay, not only is part one of Ask the King for every Ask the King of 2015 gone And now, by the way, um, all of his level one podcasts are on Spotify for some reason. Some random dude just uploads them there. I, I have no idea how any of that works or who is doing it. It just kind of exists on Spotify. And he gets nothing from that. Lost the ability. Because he's never promoted it to live stream on the king of hate vlogs because when you get copyright strikes against you on youtube after you get a one of them you lose the ability to live stream so right now i cannot live stream on the king of hate vlogs which is why YouTube one of the needs to strike <laughs> Mugat for being hot some Fine. people on the internet are just fucking jealous that's i'm gonna go on that rant the people are jealous of my look i'm doing this video right now on dsp gaming i can't i can't live stream now the good news is i barely live stream anything on king of hate vlogs oh, the only things i actually live stream on the king of hate vlogs are ask the king and my podcast i actually just did this last week the final podcast of the summer and i wasn't planning on doing another podcast till mid to late september all right ask the king i am doing an episode of that next week but we'll see what happens. If I don't live stream it, I don't live stream it. I'll just record it offline in parts like I always do. Obviously, Bro, I'm completely this fucking lost. Jackie. This dude rambles for so long. It's insane. Like, going from one of his current videos that sounds like this. And I'll just do it that way. So it's actually not to going to the normal speed. In regards to He's just fucking tweaking out. He had so I much energy. The stream, I ran Nowadays, all that shit is gone. When I just did. a boring old dude right. that's slow as hell. I should be okay. And I do want to say this as well. In a nice sip. And he was okay. still drinking want... stuff without the cap on. Like, in perspective, his laptop is next to him. Above that is a bottle of water without a cap. And nowadays he got a cat, so it's not like that cat can can, you know. Say this as well. You know, I have an accident Mishinima already, and it's gonna Mishinima break everything. It's gonna be like a. They've already contacted you. Jasper, 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 is that he didn't only do Ask the King, he also did, as I showed you here, other intros and bumpers uh -oh. and things for Busted. me. So, I'm thinking, Your Honor, oh shit, get his ass banned. This guy, you know, did, I'm thinking in my head, what did he do? He did, oh man, he did Dying Light, he did Evolve, I know he did one for Batman. Evolve. Oh shit, how am I going to remember all the stuff this guy <laughs> ever did? Like a content, yeah. a clip of content for me for a pre-stream. 
So then I said, oh, let me just check out his channel because maybe the guy's so dumb that he didn't actually like like hide the videos. And he is. He's dumb. He left the videos live there. So I easily was able to see the videos. He had made one for Grim Fandango. Oh, he hits he had the dude so Dying much. Light, right? Yeah, the dude is fucking for dumb. Five, one for Get Out of Hell, the expansion for Saints Row 4. Uh, one for Majora's Mask. He had done one for Batman. I think there may have been like one or two other minor, like Game of Thrones, one or two other minor things that he had made intros for me before. And I said, well, there's nothing to stop him from doing on DSP Gaming what he did on the King of Hate Vlogs. The difference here is DSP Gaming is my livelihood. If this channel gets shut down, I'm fucked. I can't make any money. <laughs> the same story. Set eight years later, almost eight, because this is from August. Seven years later, the same story, the same fish face. The same face. Look at this fucking face. Bruh. Bruh. Help. Hold on, I'm looking for something. The same fucking face. Seven years later, and we get this again. Aww. Blob so guy. SP Gaming, and I spent about an Resting hour and a half face. deleting every fucking video that's still on Hell. there that has content from jackie chin now the good news is none of that is playthrough content all of the game playthroughs are still up there live right they're all fully up there and you can watch them no problem uninterrupted but thank yeah, this goodness. for real like this for real is like the fourth or fifth time where he accepts some pre-stream art or intro from somebody and then gets struck for it and he never learned because he's legitimately this fucking lazy Thank goodness that my content is different from other people who live stream and then just open And now he's shitting on everybody else. There, yeah, they suck play. ass. They're because trash. if that were the case, it would all have to be gone. I would have to, you know, all be deleted. What I did do is I deleted tons of videos. I deleted any stream archive, which is the unedited stream, for those games. So, Dying Light, Majora's Mask. Evolve. All those pictures that I did, you will not find the unedited live stream content on my DSP gaming channel anymore. It's gone. I had to delete it just in case this jerk decided to put a copyright strike against me for it. Then I said, okay, well, that's not even far enough because I guarantee you there were some pre streams, right? I record the segment of each stream that I do that's called a pre stream. Then I give an intro of what I'm doing that day in the background and what's going on regarding that game, yada, yada, yada. So I actually had to go back. And I had to manually look for every single video pre-stream that had content from Jackie, and I deleted those, and that was several dozen. So I spent... Oh, well, I same thing, man. Same thing. Two. I had to stop my stream at 2 p.m. Seven years later, same story. This time, it's 250 streams. 249. Not streams, but, you know. And also, what about the privated, uh, the privated streams that he has that also have the, the same content in them? I guess they're not possible to be taken down because they are private, so you can't actually find them. But they do exist. I wonder if he destroyed them as well. I would be very curious about that. And when normally it will go to four. And Probably I not an though. An but you're gonna see on Social Blade. Let's take a look at Social Blade. Uh, and it's probably gonna take like 24 hours for this to update anyways. Uh, DSP Gaming. But there's gonna be a massive drop. You're, you're bound to see it. It hasn't happened yet. You're going to see it. Yeah, this is going to be... Uh, it's going to be juicy here. On, on Wednesday, after this updates, with like minus 250,000. Wow. But I guess he's going to get them back within two weeks, three weeks. But it's really... It's, it's going to deal irreparable damage to an already dying channel. I mean, look at this trend. This is like struggling to stay afloat, but every fucking month it goes down. It goes up a little bit. It's like the, the dying gasps of a, a animal that had been shot down. And the monthly gain subs, this is kind of weird, but I don't think it's it's accurate because it's probably the YouTube API is not feeding the info properly because you can only see them in increments of a thousand. So it's, it's really not reliable. He can still get flagged on those privates, I think. Um... I don't know how that would work. I don't really know. I don't know how flagging stuff works, so I don't know. An hour and a half going through manually all of my YouTube videos and deleting them. And there was really nothing I could do. There was nothing I could do about it at all. 
You know what I mean? I had no control. I, it, some people are saying, why didn't you make the videos private? And there's no protection. If he had the link to the video, he could still submit it for copyright claim, even though it's private, you could still submit it. So I actually ha was forced to delete. Oh, you just need the URLs. Then I don't know, man. Then he can be in for, oh, that, that, that's going to be hard. Because those streams have a lot more views than those few videos he deleted. Because, uh, you know, the way streams work is you publish it, you are live, and during the duration of the stream, people join your stream and they, they leave and go and come and go, and those views get accumulated. So when you end the stream, the video that gets created, the on-demand video, already starts out with a bunch of views. And that's how most detractors actually out outmatch him in views because it just like it just post the actual stream so yes so i would think uh an average dsp day stream would have anywhere between like five to ten thousand views videos and if he deletes those man i i don't know if if they count to begin with because they're just set as private by default but if he deletes them youtube's not gonna like that all right so the reason i'm making this video for you Oh yeah, and you can find one. the URLs. That's that's some very sound logic. You can find the URLs on his community section. So you want to go on uh, DSP Gaming. You can open up the oh podcast. Whoa, this is so cool. Look at that. Except these, none of these are actually the podcast because uh, YouTube has a new tab called Podcast. Let's go on Community. Let's say, and we see here. There we go. We have this video isn't publicly available, but we have the link. So that's how life works. I want you to understand that I cannot live stream on the King of Hate vlogs right now. What's going to happen, it takes about 10 business days, which technically is more than two weeks for you to, to go through and review and probably do those counter notifications or whatever and clear them up. So hopefully by mid to late September, YouTube will have cleared up the shit against the King of Hate vlogs. In the meantime, I will continue to use it for daily uploading of vlogs when I have vlogs. Okay, so understand that I'm not going to stop using it or whatever because it still works. Oh, and there's nothing. We should get Phil Morris as Jackie <laughs> Chili's the lawyer from Seinfeld to take the case. I know he is no Shamar Moore, but for Shamar defense, he was hosting Soul Train at the time. Well, uh, big ups. I don't really get the the Seinfeld reference because I haven't really watched it all that much. But I know the Shamar Moore reference. Big ups to to Shamar the guy. I'm drinking. He's drinking. He's giving you a, a live update. Anything else on Big there, uh, D-Dog. You know, that's been on there. There's no problem. There's no, no, there's nothing in there that's going to take that channel and shut it down at this point. We're good to go. I just can't stream there. What I will say is if there is live streaming to happen in the next month to month and a half, including if I do a podcast, if I do Ask the King like I'm going to do, I may stream it on DSP Gaming. And I know that that video won't, you know, it doesn't really make sense because it's not the vlogging content, but I have to. I cannot stream on the King of Hate vlogs anymore thanks to this guy for whatever reason. So, but you see this? He got two strikes on the channel. He wasn't able to stream. He got two strikes on DSP Gaming. He is able to stream. Yes, this is um, seven years ago, uh, almost eight. So things have most probably changed around on, on YouTube. So you never know. But still, it, it is kind of interesting. Number two, on DSP Gaming. Up, uh, Cody Taylor for six months, dude. There's take nothing a sip. I can really do in regards to those videos. There was no unless you're driving. If you're driving, take two sips. In regards to videos that had these bumpers or montages or whatever you want to call them from Jackie Chin, I had to delete them all. So I apologize to anyone who enjoys watching my unedited streams when they go live on YouTube, who is looking to watch those, like especially Batman Arkham Knight. Maybe you like the three plus hour gameplay content that I was putting out. On I'm sorry. I apologize. There's nothing I could do about that. I had to get rid of them. I apologize if you were watching, if you maybe wanted to go back to a specific pre-stream for whatever reason. I don't think that's going to affect, let's be honest here. Is deleting the stream archives and the pre-stream videos a big deal? Absolutely not. It's not a big deal at all. It's just <laughs> annoying that I had to do it and that basically my Bruh. whole livelihood was at risk. This is... It's not a big deal, dude. It's, it's just not a big deal. It's just going to kill me in the algorithm and then I'm going to cry about the algorithm not knowing that I exist. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Uh, big ups, uh, base Boglamite for five months, dude. That's what's up. Oh. Just got here. This has to be a scam, right? Well, 
the the actual current situation happened in the first hour of the stream so i went and watched his video and basically summarized what happened so if you want to catch up you can you can rewind and and start from the beginning basically there's like a five minute intro and then 45 minutes after that is is the the dsp video and all the, the other stuff and this is a just a random uh, throwback to an emergency in 2015 that is basically the same thing it's another guy striking him for something that somebody sent him that he used with their permission the same situation okay this is the same situation yes it is as what happened years even ago he knows with oh and it happened again in the past uh, so it's like a triple threat same situation level scenario what's the name Rockstar, when John Rockstar Cena. put up a copyright strike against my channel. It's the same. And by the way, so people, I already see people in the show. Rockstar. These are claims, not strikes. Wrong. wrong. I got two strikes against my account. You're absolutely wrong. These are two strikes against the King Call of Call him a right human there, piece of feces. Your account is feces. gone permanently. It says it right there on the page. So these weren't like, oh, I'm just constantly. Bro, I wish he was fucking live today. I can't watch him tomorrow. God damn it. E matching. This was like trying to end my God channels. Damn it. All right. I might if, um, if my girlfriend's flight is being delayed because so, she's flying in from you know, fucking Japan. I had Japan. to do what I had to do. It's just annoying so that she I got like my business and I, I consider switch, this. I don't know. Probably the not. Same as the full copyright strikes that I got that. against Dark that, that free streams tomorrow is gonna be like such a crybaby segment, man. It's gonna be like the worst. <laughs> Years ago, remember someone was actually impersonating Ubisoft when I was playing a uh, uh, Splinter Cell. And they impersonated Ubisoft and had my Dark Side Phil channel shut down temporarily. It's the same thing. These are copyright claims against my channel. And I take this exactly the same way as a threat against my business. Which would be, if you remember, another direct time. Remember when that guy two years ago was trying to trademark DSP Gaming? Because he thought he was smart. He's, I don't like Phil, so I'm going to trademark DSP Gaming behind his back. <laughs> So if he tries to make that's video, epic, dude. He's gonna trademark DSP gaming. <laughs> I could show YouTube that I have a trademark that's for DSP awesome, gaming, and man. no one can make videos because I own the trademark. Which, by the way, is completely illegal. Doesn't work because How is I have it, what a, is illegal? A, a history of making videos under DSP gaming on YouTube. Okay, and I would need you're to gonna stop. Simply file one lawsuit, and it would immediately be. Oh, he would file lawsuits. Look at him in 2015. Yeah, I'm gonna file a fucking lawsuit. This is illegal. And nowadays, like, well, uh, I guess I gotta get a lawyer. I don't have money. I don't have time. But I digress. It's the same thing. Uh. These people are not attacking me and trolling me and saying. It's also last summer or fall when the Eminem intro got him into copyright really? trouble with that panning shot of the Seattle skyline slash the Space Needle. I don't remember that one. Copyright trouble. Hmm, that's that's interesting. I don't remember that one. We don't like Phil as a person. We don't like his content. They're trash just basically man. saying we I need don't to like investigate him we don't want further. To be able to work. We don't want him to be able to make revenue. We don't want him to be able to ha share his gameplay experiences with others at all, period. Um, you know, and it's the same as a physical threat. That's exactly what, what? this is. No, it's not. It's the same, because if I can't it's work, it's actually now, not. I? I can't pay my bills, I'm gonna be out on the street. You're gonna get a fucking right? job. And you're gonna get stop so, crying about shit. There's plenty of jobs out there, let's be honest. Unfortunately. There's plenty of jobs. Uh, this know, dude got a degree. So like somebody in a working at a 7-Eleven or something, the manager is going to look at it and be like, eh, you know, this dude got a degree. So he's not like the other dudes I'm seeing today for an interview. So eh, let's just hire him. He can work the cash register. It is what it is. <clears throat> and he's still going to be streaming somewhere else. That's the fucking thing people forget. If all of his channels on YouTube get deleted, he will still not get a job. If he goes on Twitch and he gets deleted, he will still not get a job. He's just going to be somewhere else begging and running different scams. He will never get a job. It's not physically possible. And he said it himself, like getting a job is fantasy. I think that's that's the actual the the actual uh, quote. And I'm certainly not here making this video to say to anyone, take retaliation. In fact, I actually rebuke you. I rebuke you from taking any retaliation. I want no one to do anything this against This again, it's like a gang. If anyone does, shame on you, because I told you not to in this video. Listen. This is like, uh, going back to my gang comparison, it's like somebody did a drive-by on his house, and he was like, no, we're not gonna have a retaliation. You're gonna have a, you're gonna spark a gang war. The bottom line is, 
I don't know why he did it. Obviously, he's got a bug up his ass. I'm certainly not going to talk to the guy anymore. He's certainly not welcome on my streams. He's certainly not welcome to make any kind of shit. I'm sure he'll go on to make great videos about it. But the thing is, I, yeah, had, to not I had to show my side of the story and tell you guys what's going on or else... Stop spreading misinformation and slander. It's the, it, saying that I'm muted, it's the equivalent of a physical threat. It's like you're saying you're going to come here and, and break my kneecaps. On the king of hate vlogs why do you have to cancel I'm, i take those very seriously stream two hours early this is why and it's a very serious thing it's a very it's a serious thing to end my business and my livelihood and it's fucking disgusting and anyone who thinks it's a joke is disgusting it's not funny it's not fun it's one thing to make fun of someone it's one thing to talk shit about someone and it's another yeah, thing actually this to... uh this reminded me what does rebuke mean dream two hours early this is why shut the fuck up phil uh oh, rebuke stand down Do let's not look engage. it up Ex express sharp disapproval of or criticism of someone because of their behavior or actions uh this is the kind of word that i would use if i wanted to sound fancy and english wasn't my first language because i'm not exactly sure what this means reprimand to serve as a rebuke to well fucking thanks miriam webster you fucking stupid bitch to criticize sharply. Well, he could just say I disavow, but it doesn't matter. It's just him using words incorrectly. Something that he is known to do. And yes, uh, hate army, stand down. Do not engage. You do not have permission to fire. And it's a very serious thing. It's a direct threat. He can't threat keep streaming for the end. rest of his life. He totally can and he totally will. Like for him, a long term is just a bunch of short terms. So if he can survive for long enough, he absolutely can absolutely i can almost promise you that's what he's gonna do his parents are gonna not be existing at some point he's gonna get whatever they have maybe he's even get, gonna get their house and if he's not lazy enough to sell it then he's gonna move in there some shit so yeah he will he will still manage to exist but it's it's not gonna be pretty business in my livelihood but he's gonna tell you it is because it's dsp that's that's why he's so interesting and it's fucking disgusting. And anyone who thinks it's a joke is disgusting. It's not funny. It's not fun. It's one thing to make fun of someone. It's one thing to talk shit about someone. And it's another thing. It is funny though. To if I didn't do it, it, it can totally be funny. Completely end someone's livelihood or to SWAT them, which happened to me SWAT a couple them. months ago, or to DDoS. They, did, they didn't fucking SWAT you. And yeah, the DDoS is really not. So they can't yeah. do their daily livelihood. Those are direct attacks. Direct attacks. So it's like, I guess we'll go the whole range this year, right? Cut false copyright strikes, swatting, DDoS. Everything's got to happen, right? <clears throat> Absolutely ridiculous. There are granny streamers out there. He will keep streaming till he physically can't. But, you know, that's, that's kind of a thing. I totally agree with you. I 100% think he's going to do that. But the more dumb shit he does... The more stupid opinions he has, the more toxic he is, the more people that have hated him for a long time are going to get spiteful and actually genuinely hateful. So the risk of somebody actually fucking with him more and more often is greater. So I don't know what the like the the, the trade-off is going to be for him just existing on a streaming platform playing, playing video games. I think like the best thing about him is to just log off. Just log off. But... Uh, it is what it is, okay? It is what it is. And Big up slogan. That's pretty much I it. I might actually join the the roast today if I stay up that long, which I probably will. I'll tell you right now, I do not condone nor do I, I want anyone to take any action. All I had to do Don't is take any show action. exactly what Don't I kill to explain it in this video, and that's the purpose of this video. Now, I'm going to use this as a learning experience, okay? This is a learning experience for me. From now on, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to accept any kind of videos or music like that from anyone without some kind of explicit <laughs> permission. How did that work out for you, Gout Boy? How did it work out for you? Use it. We're still doing this shit. It's still happening. So I'm gonna need like explicit, explicit permission in writing permission and say, yes, you may use this video or yes, whatever. And even then I'm going to be highly skeptical. In fact, I'll publicly announce right now. It sounds now, like a dude with like rape accusations being like, you know, we can have sex if you write on this piece of paper that you're giving me your consent. No, I'm not gonna be using anyone. Cause I know what has happened in the past. We were both drunk and then she woke up and she saw me and she thought that I have a piece of shit pig roach. Else's videos or montages, fan art, 
is a completely different thing. Fan art, good luck getting that matched on YouTube because I made a picture and now two months later, I want to try to copyright strike a picture Bro. on YouTube. Bro. Because that's not going to work. Yo, it literally worked though. It literally worked. It literally worked. I've never watched this video again. I'm fucking shocked. I'm gobsmacked that shit has happened. Yeah, good luck fucking getting this to work. And they did. Because he always does this shit, man. He provokes people. He tries to test them. And then they fuck with him and then he cries about it. And he gives you weird fucking segments like, Man, if you take me down, who are you gonna make fun of? Look at me, I'm, I'm, I'm so pathetic and worthless. And now he's licking his lip. Look, we, we got a classic lip lick. So you don't say it's never happened before. Oh. It's not a recent thing. It's been in 2015. Nice lip lick. But I'm not going to be using stuff from other people, okay, <clears throat> that uh, that submitted, that's video content. Vintage lip licker moment. Pictures in the future, fan art pictures. And, you know, it sucks. It sucks that e I have to be even more careful, even more looking over my shoulder, right? Every day. Now, I got to be a little bit more nervous, a little bit more apprehensive. Look over my shoulder. <laughs> you got to be paranoid. Me, apparently, <laughs> I've wronged the world. I've been paranoid my whole damn life. I'm built different than them. By playing, I know troll when I see him. In gameplay and putting out fun stuff for you on a daily basis. He's like, like they should make a death grip song about him. He's so fucking paranoid. Seven years, but it just continues and it keeps snowballing and people just keep attacking me. And you know, again, I wouldn't have made this video if I didn't have to explain. Gee, why are like 60 videos gone that I might have wanted to see? Why are <laughs> Ask the King all these parts gone? Uh, why is it Phil streaming anymore? That's on awesome. Man. Why do you end the stream early? Yeah, I, I had to make this, this video to explain it. All right. He's godlike. So moving forward positively i'm not gonna edit anything tonight i'm gonna be doing my second stream as normal uh the rest of this week i'll be doing my gameplay as normal nothing's gonna change the only thing that's gonna change is right now i cannot live stream on the king of hate vlogs if i am going to stream anything it'll be here on dsp do we have any updates from today aren't gonna be interfered with he hasn't anything. probably woken up yet and that's though. the bottom line okay nope. everyone and that's and it I will, again close this video one final time saying I do not condone or ask anyone to do any kind of any kind of reaction to Jackie Chin for doing this to me. I don't care why he did it. I don't give a fuck. I just want to have it in the past and let it be left alone. Nice guy, Phil. Okay? If this was like in 2012, he would have said, go report his channel. Go and find him in real life and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> and uh, I already got That's 2012, Phil. But he's changed in 2015. Contact Machinima. Machinima's contacting YouTube in between. And nowadays, he would just ask you for money. He wouldn't say anything else. Man, I really need that help. I need that money. Or if you look at his, uh, if you look at his his Twitter picture, it'd be like, man, I need that honey to pay my bees, uh, the worker bees, the queen bee. I, I need that honey, man. I need it. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Let's look at some more alert videos. Or are there? Let's uh, actually look up his channel. Use the search engine that is so Hello, great. Everyone. Phil here, and this is not. Uh, shut the fuck up. Okay, let's see this. Um, what should I look up? Alert? Yes, alert. Emergency alert from four years ago. Holy shit, I love this one. Let's see this one. All right, what is going? Oh on? Oh my god! Oh, look at bro. Why he looks like trash? Why does he look so bad? Why? Why? And I mean, I look like trash today, but I actually went to work all day. I got up at like 7 a.m. God damn it. And I was watching Fish Tank until like 2 a.m. last night because they were doing challenges and shit. Bro, it looks... Uh. I'm still here, and this is a special video. Oh, yeah, I can see it's a fucking special video, man. You look special. On YouTube, okay? Uh, those who are still watching all of my... Okay, so this videos. is... um. From when? From four years ago? Comments are off because it's obviously too toxic. And I have no idea what this video is about. That he got demonetized, he got claimed by somebody, he got struck. Let's see. Videos on DSP gaming Let's on find a daily out. basis. You know, and this perfectly transformative and channel. fair use stream. And for those of I you like who have transitioned out. over in the last week, this stream is a hundred percent transformative, abiding by fair use law. My other YouTube channel, KO Gaming, so that you could continue to watch the ongoing playthroughs and all the new gameplay that I've been doing since DSP Gaming ran into trouble in the last week and was demonetized. Ah, right. uh, there we go. For DSP Gaming demonetized. Know, the, the news is not good. The news is very grim. <laughs> um, AdSense, Google AdSense, has not responded to my uh, appeal to try to get DSP Gaming remonetized. And 
uh, creator support, which is the helpline for YouTube, is literally just kind of under the impression that we can't do anything until we get a yes or no answer from AdSense. And we haven't gotten a yes or no answer. AdSense has literally just ignored me. And I don't have a direct line of contact with Google AdSense. I can't seem to find anyone. Bro, this shit to seems to happen every one and a half to two years. And it's just this thing over and over again. And I like how there's chapters to this one. And they're auto-generated because the, the algorithm... The, the YouTube algorithm is sophisticated enough to figure out what kind of shit DSP is talking about. Which means we're, we've gotten to like dangerously close levels. Um, dangerously close to singularity at this point. If an algorithm can pick apart and actually make sense of some shit that DSP is saying, it's danger zone. But look at the way they're called. It's it's like a, a documentary chapters. Uh, chapter one, intro. Chapter two, the situation. Chapter three, the truth. And chapter four, my options. Very nice. Very cinematic. Submit this form. And then he wonders why people call his life uh, an anime with a bunch of sagas in it that you get a response it's been a week i've gotten no response so right now things are grim when it comes to me and my presence on youtube eight years of work on dsp gaming i cannot monetize anymore no it's great and i want to say thank you to those of you who have transitioned over to ko gaming yeah, chapter five week. please um, tip those me. videos are monetized <laughs> and if you guys haven't noticed uh, those videos aren't very long i'm now putting out very long videos on a daily basis instead of the old 10 minute parts i used to do on dsp gaming the videos on ko gaming are like one two hours long which is what you guys guys have asked me for for years you said just make long gameplay videos that are more archives of your streams rather than these ridiculously short parts so i'm doing exactly what you want and I'm trying to make it so that those who still like my YouTube videos and watching my content on YouTube can still watch it. But I'm going to be very upfront and honest with you guys. I need your help. If you guys want to continue to see me upload videos to YouTube, at this point, since I'm making no money whatsoever on DSP Gaming, and I'm making almost nothing on KO Gaming, which I'm going to talk about in just a moment, I need you to help support everything. All right? Swag. So what's that's the situation? Great. I need you to help support everything. That's that's I how it is. That's a vintage begging video. A vintage. You get the piss colored color scheme. That is awesome. You get the love seat. You get a really shitty gaming t-shirt. You get him looking like he actually crawled out of a dumpster. You get a fantastic exactly 10 minute long video. You get it all. It, it checks all the boxes for a vintage begging video from the past except maybe if you had a black t-shirt on I have a ton of income coming from dsp gaming well, what is a ton of basis, income i'd say 30 to 40 percent of my monthly income that is a ton ad revenue on dsp gaming yeah. that has now gone to zero i mean <laughs> nothing whatsoever on dsp gaming for a week and it looks oh, like i love this bro at this point you tweak it out so hard it's great that you guys have gone and it's like over I, there and you're watching you know that, that that's the thing uh i realized i can't feel bad about him because it's like it's just a dude crying about internet youtube videos it's not something really that I, I should take seriously or feel bad about. <laughs> the videos, but just to give you <laughs> I'm going to be very upfront. I need your money. I'm going to be very upfront about this. Give me money. Sound good? From perspective, Here's I how you can 30 help. 40% of my revenue on YouTube. I now make $10 Oh, by the way, yeah. Um, I know 10. I'm talking way too much, but today we're doing uh, that being said, the message thing. So if you want to send us a message, you can do this on... Uh, on speakpipe so yeah there you go speakpipe.com slash that being said you can send us a message we're gonna listen to it and dollar and i mean we know what we're talking about today but it's it's gonna be fun anyways if you have something to say about it or ask about it or something about it you can go there maybe i can even send it in chat and it didn't post properly well this fucking stupid anyways it's a day on KO Gaming with the videos that I uploaded this past week. Now, undoubtedly, the more videos I upload over there, it's going to build up a body of work, and I'm going to start making more very slowly. And especially, yeah, we're all going to be on as far as I know. Up and all the new Sam and releases. Steve are back. As long as you guys keep heading over to KO Gaming and watching those videos on KO Gaming, yes, I will make a little. Yeah, you bit can more ask uh, whatever questions you want, but I know that the hot topic is the the today's drama shit. So uh, that's, I guess, what people are going to be asking about. I was making 
But you can ask whatever you want. Some, you know, it all depends on what game, but, you know, way more money than way on more money. To the point where now, there's no way. There's absolutely no Bro, way. this is, like, actually Jeez, tweaking. Even if I want to make uh -huh. DSP nowadays look like this, I need to turn him up to, like, 1.6, 1.8 times speed. Uh, with the money I'm making just on Twitch. Now, I want to say this. The Twitch the audience has been amazing. Defeated and extra support for some good emergency-style videos. Trolls defeated was when he still did iPhone shorts, too. Uh, trolls. Def oh yeah, that. I mean, that's the iconic. The the trolls defeated short. It's iconic. Is the one. Let's stick it to him in the AM. Trolls defeated. This is here somewhere, next to the pig slop. Look at this pig slop for Thanksgiving. Oh my God, it's all just gray and yellow and weird brown. Fantastic. You know what's good for you. So yeah, I, I should be able to find it. I know how it looks like. It, it's something like this one. What's up, everyone? Phil here. Let's talk about my final consecutive. Sh yeah, that's it. I I love those. He should have doing it more. But then he found out he makes actual, ten cents, even less than ten cents per short, and he stopped doing them. But look at all these great faces, man. <laughs> the many faced god of uh, contributions, and there's there's some that look really rough. Like, <laughs> bro. <laughs> What's up, bro? Everyone, what do we you you drank like? A drain cleaner or something? What is wrong with you? I fight people like this in Dead Island too. They look exactly like them. God damn. Uh, then we got... What do we got? Man, he made so many of them. Holy shit. And this one is great. Especially this one. When he's like filming from above, it's so fucking weird. But I guess he's seen someone film like it. So it's like, I guess I will be like a human being and uh, emulate what they do. So Everyone he filmed himself here. like this, where Looking you could see his schedule. toes. <laughs> Look at this. You're like the, the fan on the ceiling. This is the, um, a POV. You are the fire alarm that just fell off. My ceiling. What the hell are you doing up there? Let's talk about what we're doing on Sunday, September 25th. Imagine he gives a schedule segment to his, uh, <laughs> to his fire alarm. <laughs> when did he beat the trolls, dude? Come on, I love those. The, the victorious one. Holy shit. Some of these are like really fucking trash. Uh, I don't know, man. Where are they? Uh, oh! You PLS play the past a diarrhea clip. Uh, the diarrhea clip. I don't know how it was called, but I can look for it because it's not on the it's not on the soundboard anymore. Uh... Punk oh. ass sissified boys, please suck my ass on diarrhea day, dog. There you go. There you go. That was the right one. Big ups, con. Uh, I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Trolls. I can actually do a control F and look up trolls. And there's two. Once there we go. What's up, everyone? I've got some really positive news that's so positive, I wanted to do a short about it so you know about it right away. And I told you. I told you. And this is not really an I told you so segment because many people told you so and it's kind of common sense. This shit aged real bad. And I told you, moment I watched it, I'm like, this is gonna age real bad the moment they fuck with them again. And it aged real bad. After weeks of ongoing nonsense, all of the false copyright strikes against DSP Gaming have been removed. It took a while, but we got it done. This is a huge win for those of us who stand up for the law <laughs> and will not the put up with trolls win. trying to take down people with false copyright strikes. I am going to have the full story about what happened, including the videos in question and how they got claimed and how they got cleared up on tomorrow's episode of the Level 1 Podcast at 10.45 a.m. Pacific Time, right here on DSP Gaming. You are not going to want to miss it. It's probably going to be one of the most watched episodes of the podcast Whoa. ever. Cause troll it's now gone. Is it that our episode is fucking gone? It's been deleted. <laughs> no! Uh, or applause, I guess. I guess that's it. Well, it's one of the most watched deleted this is episodes. A big win for it's us. A big I win. Can't wait to stick it to him in the AM. Yeah, stick it to him in the AM. So too. I'll see you then. Peace out, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> peace out, everybody. And then he looks at this, the the face right before you turn off the recording. So this is from when? I don't. I can't even tell. It doesn't say, dude. Oh, September 9th. 
it's nine nine so let's see and there's also what the fuck is what what is this thumbnail look at this what happened on twitch i have no idea and it's just him being on his phone <laughs> dude i love these thumbnails Sometimes looking through his channel, just like randomly looking through his videos, is so much better than actually watching him. God damn, man. This dude is unique. He's very unique. So let's see the videos. Um, you probably can't find it because it's been deleted. Because, uh, wow, there's so much fucking trash, dude. How do I even find it? Super Saturday Bash, Final Fantasy. How does he expect people to find shit in this one? The Waiting for FedEx Stream. That's its own playlist. Black Friday Adpocalypse. That's its own playlist. Adpocalypse 2022 playlist. It's so fucking hard, man. Do control F, look up level one. Level one? Level? Just level? Nope. Let's check podcasts. Daily Rap, Ask the King, pre stream archives. The fuck is this? Good morning. Shut the fuck up. Uh, yeah, this is too old. I can't even find them now, I guess. Maybe they're here, but I can't, I can't find them. Ah, oh, this is, uh, this is certainly something. Not very good, though. Anyways. Fuck them. Maybe I can find them here somewhere. The Daily Wrap. Oh, it's all deleted, man. It's all deleted. 250 podcasts. And now the only place you can find them is either on Spotify, where somebody who probably doesn't like them uploaded them, or you can watch a restreamer, or probably on uh, Dark Dave on uh, Odyssey. Anyways, let's go back to this video. They've come out, they've been incredibly supportive during the streams. At this point... He's talking about the Twitch audience, by the way. This is back when Twitch was, like, the best thing ever. Getting over to KO Gaming and... Dude, like, Twitch is so cool. People are so supportive. Watching those videos on KO Gaming, yes, I will make a little bit more revenue. But the whole point of this is I was making... Something. Oh. It all depends on what game, but, you know... Man, I was making more so money more. than that on YouTube. To the way point now, more money. There's no way. This guy's fucking is. tweaking out. It's like... It's like he's reminiscing on when he got like super high on on heroin or something. I was making some. Yeah, it all depends on what game, but you know, way more money than that on YouTube to the point where now. <laughs> There's no way. There's oh, no way. I was making Cash so much, is, man. I can't even afford my bills on, uh, with the money I'm making. And now we can't even pay bills. Now I want. Well, to maybe if you were making a lot of money, more money than to pay your bills, you should have saved up in case something happens. Also known as a rainy day fund. Say this: the Twitch audience has been amazing. They've Twitch been audience, the best. Big up, Twitch audience. During the streams, you save the stream. Point, I really can't go to my Twitch viewers, my, my stream viewers, and ask for anything more. Those guys are being amazing. They're <laughs> cheering, they're subbing, they're tipping. And he can't, he can't even beg his streaming audience, so he's making this video. At the time, he wasn't using YouTube. He made this video to beg for people on YouTube to go on Twitch and give him money. Because, like, what else uh, ways you could support somebody on YouTube at the time? You didn't have super thanks, you didn't have memberships. So yeah, you're just asking them to send them tips through either the tip link or go on Twitch and send them bits. They're going to become their subs. Way to support me, okay? And they've been like that. Like the Twitch streams have been growing exponentially. Awesome, I'm getting more followers, more viewers. You know, yeah. on average, and the support. So this month, good. the month of July was amazing. It was one of the best, uh, uh, most supportive uh, months I've ever had on Twitch. But pair that with making nothing on YouTube. See what I mean? So the truth of the matter is, this guys, something's got to give, and you know. For 10 years, I've been a content creator on YouTube for 10 years, even though this last year, my revenue did completely dramatically drop on YouTube because of the YouTube adpocalypse. I still continue to consistently upload videos for you guys on YouTube, especially those of you who say, man, Phil, you know, I can't watch your videos on Twitch because it's too much. The bandwidth hey, is uh, too Kitty high. I try to watch any sun. video on, on Stay... Twitch, you know, it just chops up and I can't watch it, but I can watch your stuff on YouTube. So cool. please keep uploading to YouTube. Okay. Okay, but, what I'm but kind of telling you guys now is I need to make a living. What I'm kind of telling you guys is I need to make a living, and I'm making this face. What kind of a fucking face is this? Look at this fucking face. Let me make it a little prettier than this. Let's put down the the brightness to zero. That's very good. Uh, we could keep watching like that. 
Or maybe I can turn up the contrast to 200. And then we can rotate the hue a little bit. So he can be nice and purple, pink. And we can do a color inversion like this. Wow, look at this. Looks great. Yeah. Or maybe like this. And I'm making this a vibe on the YouTube video. I should just watch him like this from now on. So what this means is that I need you guys who are avid watchers, who are longtime fans of mine and who love my YouTube content to please step up and support. Please the effort. step up How? and support the, the effort. The primary way you can is to go to my Patreon at Patreon. Oh, Patreon. Darkside Phil. I forgot that was a thing. Today it is a little Pledge today dollar helps okay How? i've been saying this ever since i opened my patreon three years ago people are oh i can't make a significant impact bro if a million people gave him a dollar he would have a million dollars to spend a dollar imagine the things he could buy with a million dollars month actually helps and adds up all right the bottom line is if you look at the amount of people who watch my videos on dsp gaming and the amount of people who are watching the new videos on ko gaming you're talking at least a thousand in unique individuals a day watch my content sometimes it's tens of thousands depending tens on what i'm thousands. playing if a fraction of those pledged to my so it ranges from a thousand to tens of thousands that's a pretty wide range and i would be fine i would not you want to have a better perspective of your target demographic and how many views to expect to rely yeah one day i'm expecting yeah this is gonna get a thousand views yeah this is gonna get sixty-five thousand views it would ever whatsoever on the youtube ad revenue and i'd be in a good position the problem is less than 200 people pledged to my patreon on a monthly basis and since I made the transition more to be a Twitch streamer than anything else, even less people are pledging to my Patreon. It's good, though, because they are contributing to the streams, but you see you're giving I mean? them like, perks, I though. I need that support on I Patreon need. every month. Right now... It's just We're all just talking about what he needs. This whole video is what he needs. I could double... And not what he gives in return. I need you guys to support me. What do we get, though? Uh, to support me. Triple my support on... You get me to keep making stuff that I've been making for free. For free! Patreon, things would be in a much better position. Whoa. I wouldn't be so worried, but... That's good, man. Let me give you $1,000. Bottom line is, in within, within the next one is to two what months, Planet I Jeff need said. to find a solution for having zero ad revenue on YouTube. If you guys pledge to my Patreon, that would fix that, okay? I need you, if you are an ongoing and avid watcher of my videos on YouTube, to pledge to my Patreon, okay? It's that simple. It's, it's do or die time. I know many of you have watched me for 10 years, and you probably have this mentality that Phil will overcome everything, and Phil, I don't have to ever worry about contributing Bro, to Phil, because no matter what... This is uh, this kind of what you're bragging about. Why are, you, why are you salty that people have this mentality when you brag about this? He brags about overcoming all obstacles and persevering through everything and always surviving. Of course, people that like him are going to think about that because that's what he claims. He seems to overcome every hurdle. Now I'm in a situation if there's no clear end in sight. There's, there's no, no end in sight. You have to contribute if you want to keep seeing me be able to put out videos on YouTube, period. This is toxic okay. as fuck. This video is toxic as fuck. He hasn't had videos like this in a long time because now people keep calling him out. And big names keep calling him out. Because I'll be honest with you guys. He's going to be honest. Let him just take a sip. I've been looking at a few options. All right. Okay. And one of the options I'm looking at is Bankruptcy? just being a full-time Twitch streamer. and just Oh, no. Just being completely. a streamer. Because if I'm making $10 a day, the work that it takes to upload the videos to YouTube and babysit them and make sure that they're in playlists and then tweet out when the stuff is live and all that, is it worth it for $10 a day? You can... When Bro, this dude used to work as like a root cause analyst or some shit in the helicopter company when he was optimizing processes. Do this to your own fucking channel. Make the process more optimal. Make things easier for you. Dumbass. Instead, I could be focusing exclusively on- Man, it's so hard. I have to babysit the uploads and it's not worth it. So I'll just not do it instead streams i don't have to worry about copywritten music and just put out the twitch streams daily with whatever music is on them right because i don't have to worry about copyright or content id on youtube i could do special stream only events it says i'm not recording locally ever anymore if i only do streams on twitch i can now play pc games on my pc all on these twitch. promises See what i, mean? dude, There's a I lot love of benefits. them if i were to i'm looking one... forward to the dsp plays pc game saga when he plays 10 minutes on pc and then complains that he needs to switch the setup 100 full-time twitch streamer it's now, awesome I'm not saying that's what i want to do but if i may have to do it i may have to do it if you want to see me keep uploading to youtube right now since it looks like there's really slim to no chance that dsp gaming is going to get its advertisements back I need you to pledge to my Patreon. Now, there are other ways you can contribute too. You could go to my Teespring shop and buy, you know, a t-shirt or something. That helps out. Or even if you don't attend the streams, I do have a tips page 
where you can lend me a tip. You can actually say, oh, Phil, I watch your videos and I don't want to put- I've been wanting to make some uh, some designs for like t-shirts or stuff, and I'm just going to publish them like free online. You can get the PNGs and stuff if you want to make your own merch. Your so picture, yeah, a tip. I'm thinking Hope about you it. Out. You could do that too, okay? And I'll and put it on like stuff. the Streamlabs shop and I'll put the lowest price. I don't care about making money, but if any of you want to make a- get yourself like a t-shirt something that has a fun inside joke on it you can go do it on my, my twitch page you know if you want to go check that out twitch.tv forward slash uh, we, we saw like last week there was somebody who made like a mug with a wpig logo and it was like really fun as hell but they used like a, a random logo they got from somewhere else it wasn't like the actual the png that is like high definition so if you want to do that we also have those things published somewhere so I guess if you want to make something like that, I, I got them all published. Phil has all the details on how to tip me and everything. But this is... you want to rep the I'm game. I'm not kidding. I'm not joking. This is not me over-exaggerating. I made no money on YouTube. All right. I made like $20 <laughs> on YouTube in the last week. Bro! How can you contradict yourself this crazy in a single sentence? This was great, man. Fuck. I want to rewind this. But this is it. This I'm not kidding. I'm not joking. This is not me over exaggerating. This is not me over exaggerating. I made no money on YouTube. All right. I made like $80 on YouTube in the last week. I made no money on YouTube. Okay. Well, I made $80 on that YouTube. That is not enough to support me. And, and within two months, but that's here, not enough. Obviously, get a solution. I'm not going to be able to afford my bills anymore. And there's going to be drastic measures that have to be taken. And if it's forget YouTube, I just become a full time streamer. I guess that's what it's going to have to be. Good. I, I don't love want it. it to be that, but it's always been I could still work as a YouTuber and a streamer because I'm making the revenue from Phil was selling Hate Army 88 shirts, lol. Uh, weren't they 86? I think they were 86. But they're not available anymore, so I can't really fact check that. But hold on. So here he says he doesn't want to be he doesn't want to be a full-time streamer. And then nowadays he flexes about dude People asked me to be a full-time streamer, and I've been loving it. It was the best thing I ever did. Get YouTube, I just become a full-time streamer. I guess that's what it's gonna have to be. I don't want it to be that. That's what it gotta but be. It's always Pick been up, uh, still work as a YouTuber and a streamer because I'm making the revenue from YouTube to make sense to work on that. Now I'm not anymore. This is literally like fan service for me putting the videos it's fan on YouTube service. At this point. So I need your support, guys, please. But if it's fan service, you're not. You don't have to beg people for support to keep doing it. If it's fan service, you fucking cocksucker. If you're doing something as fan service. And if you want to ask them for help, then stop saying it's fan service. You do fan service selflessly because people enjoy it and they're your fans, you fucking dick sucker. Forward slash dark side fill pledge. By the way, if you pledge right now, it's fan service, so I might. Stop doing it unless you give me money to do it. In the next three days, by the end of July, you're going to get in. Today, we hit the subscriber goal on my Twitch channel for the month, which means Whoa, you'll be hit able this to nominate. Goal. And the, I, I want this, uh, I want this right pause. Now, this is such a good pause. In the next three days, by the end of July, you're going to get in. Today, we hit the subscriber goal on my Twitch channel for the month, which means you will You. Look at this. You. You will be able to do all of these cool things. You'll tell me what video game to play. You'll be able to nominate, nominate and vote, and vote. On your favorite moments in my 10-year oh. history here as a YouTuber for a special event that I'm going to be doing in September where I am going to react to my old content. Whoa, it's a retrospective. So if you pledge $5 or more to my Patreon by the end of July, you have three days to do it. All right, you're going to be nominating and voting on it. could be a playthrough you loved, a moment. Okay, bro, uh, go fuck yourself. And I don't think there's really much else I would like to go through. I think uh, let's keep this stream short and portable. Uh, I guess I gave you a good example of uh, emergencies in the past, and we kind of recapped the thing from the beginning. Now, of course, there's going to be development during this week. There's going to be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. He's going to talk about that shit every single day. Every single day. So you can be looking forward to more stuff. Uh, I'm not going to be here tomorrow, so... You can go watch somebody else restreaming it. I guess nobody's published that stream yet, but I expect the is the the usual suspects are probably gonna do it. So yeah, um, tune in tonight for the the group think if you want to ask a question or just hang out. And we're gonna be listening to like bits and stuff. And now you can go watch uh, WPIG. Make sure to subscribe. We're having like two streams a week, maybe maybe some more if ALT decides to do something. And uh, we're going for a thousand subs.
And if we get a thousand subs, we can actually forward people from that channel to a different channel. Which is that being said. So there you go. Now this stream is going to end and it's going to forward you there. Big ups everybody. See you around. And uh, peace the frick out. Alright. Ballin'.